<laughs> Love and mercy from the Lord to all of you. And may the peace of Christ to be with every one of us, including the Muslims. Uh, please invite your friends. And uh, today we are here again challenging what it's called Islam. And as you see, the one who claimed that they can challenge us, they don't even dare to get close. They don't even dare to show up. <clears throat> even though Allah, he promised them a heaven which is full of uh, whiskey, black label, wine. I'm not sure why still they don't want to do it. Don't you want to get the whiskey? Uh, to be honest, Allah did not promise, promise whiskey. He promised wine. You see, the one who is doing jihad for the sake of Allah, trying to prove Islam to be a truthful religion, why he don't want really to present himself and to be with us and prove us wrong? Hello? <clears throat> okay, we have a person. I don't know. Call me, please, only if you are a Muslim. If you are not, don't call me. If you are not a Muslim, <clears throat> don't call me. Don't you want to get the blessing of Allah and get the wine, the river of wine? Don't you want to get extra versions? Don't you want to get extra boys who they are naked around you, serving you as the Muslims claim, who they will never bleed? I'm not sure bleeding from what? Who they are very white like pearls? My friend, this is the best way to do it. Debate me. Ask your brave men who claim that they can debate the Christians why they don't debate me. Why all the Muslims want to debate David Wood? That's a good question always I ask myself. You know, Shabir Ali, all of them. And I will tell you why. They knew what he was saying. I do not need to go to watch the debate to know what David Wood will say. Just watch a previous debate, you know it all. Especially if we know the topic, you know. And as long we know, and as long you do not know Arabic as an example, and, you know, we can make fun of him. We can make a mockery. We can say a lot of lies and we can get away with it because he is not a kind of a person who insists that you have to answer him. He just to throw the answer there or the question and you answer it or not, who care? So they choose carefully the debate who. They cannot do that with me. This is why we have a problem Every day I'm posting the name of Shamsi. Shamsi, he made a video saying he, he, you know, he is doing career ending to Christian friends. Every day since he posted that video, I am challenging him to call me. He can do broadcast in his channel. He can use his Skype. He can hang up on me. Equal opportunity. But he will not dare to call. How you do? You, you want to do career ending, but yet you do not dare to call me. I am here every day I have my Skype open and yet we cannot find the Muslim who claim to be a cleric or to claim to be a knowledgeable person by the way all of those kids don't even know, know anything about Islam including hijab uh, before I start my broadcast today I made a video I don't know how many of you saw it I posted it in Facebook and in Pat uh, Patreon there is a Muslim who is an Arabic teacher and he is trying to prove that uh, David Wood was wrong. <clears throat> hello, Hassan. Hey, hello. How are you, Muhammad? Hello? Yes, Muhammad. What do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Uh, where do you live, by the way? I live in USA, Muhammad. Where do you live yourself? Oh, you don't live in UK because Shamsi is from UK. Who cares if he is in the UK or not? He can call me, can't he? Because you remember he told you in, in the video that he he is willing you to come to UK to debate with him. My friend, I don't I don't I, I am not a street boy. I don't debate in street. I'm not a street boy. So Those that means you're scared or what? I don't know. Well the one is scared is the one who don't accept. Here we go. You're calling me. 
look how nice the voice no, is look 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 how nice the voice look how clear it is I can show reference in the screen you can show me reference and we can show it in the screen we don't want to sit there shouting at a bunch of kids and everybody shouts say nothing uh, but but he ha but you guys have to agree on conditions. That's why well, I, I know there's no on. condition. The conditions goes for me, goes for him. He can call me anytime. He can ask anything. I can ask anything. That's very simple. It's a debate. You but, see, when you put conditions, it means you are scared of something. A condition like what? We should wear. No, no, it, we should have umbrella. No, it makes order. You know, like you guys, you you keep picking. You know, unclear verses in the Quran and then my friend you, okay you here we go you are here with me give me a clear verse in the Quran and I will show you in two seconds that it's not a clear choose one no no you no no you see just me. to show you that just to show you no, no, I no. am not let the me, one is picking up a clear and the clear verses in the Quran the Quran is a clear book what are you talking about show let me let one me verse in the Quran is a clear can you show me one verse in the Quran clear it's a stupid book with my respect Quran to you my friend a, no, no. in the Quran there's a verse that says that those people who have disease in the heart they keep picking and choosing the unclear verses to miss yeah and me. the problem is That's any right. verse we pick up you say to us you have a disease in your heart because you have no answer for it and let me ask it's you a unclear. question and let me ask you a question what kind of it's a book unclear. what kind of a book there's a verse in the Quran you say this says that right this is a chapter 3 verse number 7 what kind of a book says that there is verses in the Quran nobody knows what they mean save Allah what the point of sending those verses then we have hadith to explain to it the hadith the prophet prophet so tradition. so th then if this is the case what is your problem if i pick up a hadith which is hard to understand if you have the backup yeah. from the hadith that's not my point what i said is that no you, your point is right? your point is i am picking up a weak spots in the quran you are just confessing that the quran have a problems and i go and i bunch the quran i, I bunch the quran that. in the belly i bunch I the quran unclear. between the legs i, I bunch the quran unclear. in the in the places i should not punish because you are no, saying the quran unclear, is weak unclear I said unclear verses. Unclear. Yeah, so okay. What, what does unclear mean? What does unclear mean? Any clear to me or unclear. to you? Unclear to me or to Let you? Let me give you an example. Any clear to me, me, my friend? Any clear to me or to you? No, I'm I'm just I'm just I'm just stating what. No, what no, is no. You need to answer me here when you say there's a clear any clear verses. Any clear to me or any clear to you? Unclear to everyone who who. Likes Thank you very me. much, guys. Did you hear this? The Quran have verses any clear to everyone. So what the point of sending those verses? Why your prophet no, did not explain them? Everyone who lacks knowledge, who doesn't have knowledge, is unclear. To that's them that's false, my friend. That's false. That's false. That's false. That's false. The Quran let says. Let the Quran you. says the same verse. The same verse. You do not know your book. Obviously, you do not know your book. The Quran says, and those who who have knowledge, they say we believe. They don't know. The one who have knowledge to have knowledge in Islam is not about knowing. It's about that's just we, we believe. We have the prof prophetic tradition to explain those verses that are unclear. It doesn't mean that everything is unclear. My friend, I just told you, I just told you, my friend, did you hear me? I just told you. Pick up for me one verse in the Quran, and this is the challenge. Choose for me something clear in the Quran. Like, uh, I can't think of out of head now, but this... Okay, let me ask you, let me ask you. Let, I will give you something very simple in the Quran. The Quran okay. keeps saying the children of Israel, the children of Israel, the children of Israel, correct? Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Who are the, the children of Israel? It's Moses. They okay. are from Moses. Who was Israel? The children of Israel means the the Jewish. It means my friend. Who is Israel? Children of Israel is the Jews. I got you. But who is Israel? Israel is a tribe or something. Who is what? Yeah. Tribe. 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 No, it says yeah, Bani Israel. It's Israel is a man. Children of Israel. Israel that's is a man. Nickname, Not... man. That's the nickname because it that's a nickname. Ah, that's a nickname. Okay, where do you get that? This is a nickname, and where do you get the word that this is a tribe? Where do you get this information Israel, from? Ben Israel is a clan from their. Origin My friend, who, what is Israel? Okay, they are they are the children of Israel. Who is Israel? Because the most prophets were from. Because Israel. what? Because what is the name of? I'm saying you. Who is Israel? I'm asking you a very simple question. The Quran repeat tons of time. All children of Israel, 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 all over. Okay, who is Israel? Imagine I say to you, imagine I say to you, oh, children of Trump, oh, children of Trump, oh, children of Trump, oh, children of Obama, oh, children of George Bush, oh, children of etc. But I never introduced to you first who is a Trump, who is Obama, who is who is Israel? Introduce to me, that's go the, ahead. That's the language of the Quran, how it is. My friend, what language? What language? Who is Israel? I'm asking you a very that's simple question. When you, keep, when you can, when you say to me, you see, what the point of saying children of Israel is to give me a definition who they are, correct? I said. Children of Israel are, are where the most prophets came from. Ibrahim, My friend, this is not the question. Moses. This is not the question. You see, Muslims, you see, guys, Muslim, they no, are, they, a, they, they, are they are they are they are people who don't even use their brain. Look what I'm asking him. What the, the answer? I'm saying to you, 
they are saying they are the children of Israel. Who is Israel? I said you there's a clan. There's what a clan? Who is Israel? Israel, Israel, the children of Israel. Israel is a guy, is a man. What a clan? Uh, let me uh, give you the answer now. Like, hmm. Give me a second. Okay, search Google. Google peace upon him. We cannot find the answer in the Quran. We find it in Google. Uh, they, they're the Jews. The, the Jews. My friend, know. my friend, everybody knows what Israel. Israel is there. Hello. I said Jews. I, I said mean, you need to be a genius to know what Israel. The second you say Israel, everybody knows what Israel. This is not a question. The question when the Quran says, "Oh, children of Israel, who is the father? Israel. The father is Israel. Who is Israel?" I can send you the link because there's a don't send me a link. Give me the answer. Who is Israel? You want to call a friend? So what's your answer? Look at this. Uh, look at this. What is your what answer? Is your answer? He's, he wants me, Christian Prince. I am a Christian. He is a Muslim. To answer him, to tell him what is Israel in the Quran. This is your book. You yeah, are the one who told me. You are the one who told me the Quran is very easy to understand. There are some verses are not clear. Okay, here we go. I did not ask you about any verse. I ask you about just a word. A word. A word. Israel. What Israel mean? The basic information I know that the children of Israel were sent by uh, there was their prophet was Moses. That's all I know because in that context in the Quran it talks about the the the, the people who were sent to Moses. Moses, prophet Musa. My friend. My friend. That's why I said it's a lingu linguistic. I, I do my not, friend, my I friend. Don't know the, okay, the listen, listen. I do not know. All right. Yeah. Okay. So don't ask me language. No problem. I'm not asking you a language. <laughs> Guys, if I ask you a language, I'm, I'm saying to you, who is this guy? Who is this guy, Israel? It's referring to the people that Moses who is, sent. Who is, who is he? Who is he, this guy? Who is Israel? Where the name coming from? Who is he? It's a tribe. It's a tribe where the origin where there was some okay. people. Okay. Okay. Majority okay. came from that land. All right. All right. Around the Arabian Peninsula. So it's the tribe. It's not a person. Israel is not a person. I said Moses was sent to the Bani. Israel. I'm not talking about Moses now. I'm, I'm not talking about Moses. Who is who is Israel? Who is Israel? Look how many places Israel is appearing in the Quran. All of this. Who is Israel? I gave you my answer. I don't know what you. No, are. you did not give me the answer. Who is Israel? You are telling me that the, you are telling I me his children are tribe. You are telling me there is a children that are tribe. I'm I'm not asking you about the children. I'm saying who is Israel? I don't. That's why I said I do not know the definition exactly. What do you, what do you mean definition? You ask me definition. Yes, that's why I said. I mean, what, like, no, you. It, it's your Quran saying those are the children of a guy. His name Israel. So shouldn't we know who is Israel? I say the what the point? I what what the what language? What language? This is not about languages. This is about the person, regardless of his name. Let us say, let us say his name is uh, uh, is Mikael. Let us say his name is Muhammad. Who care? When you say in the Quran, all oh, children of Muhammad. Shouldn't we know who is Muhammad? Who is who is Israel? For argument's sake, I do not know. So what's your point? Mm, my point is that you are. And cable to explain is something very simple, even a name in the Quran. You do not know how it came, where it came from. Yes, I said, I said, it's Moses was sent. I do not, I, I don't have what Moses was sent, my friend. Uh, I'm asking, I'm not asking you even about Moses. I'm saying, okay, we have a guy in the Quran, his name is Israel. What, who is Israel? I know they're from Arabian Peninsula. That's the basic Arabia, uh, Israel, guys, the basic. guys, Israel from Arabian Peninsula. Did you hear this? Did you hear this? That's why I said hmm. the Jews did not originate. Okay, what do you got? Where do you get this information that Israel is from the Arabian Peninsula? No, no want... they're from Palestine. Ah, from Palestine. from Palestine. Okay, we changed it now. Okay, from Palestine. How his oh, name is Pal how his name is Israel, but he is from Palestine. They're they're from Palestine, yeah. Well, the, okay, so how, why 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 his name is Israel, but he is from Palestine? And then they moved to Egypt. So that's why uh, uh, around that period. they moved to Egypt. Uh, yes, that's, that's okay, all those verses yeah, yeah, you could yeah, not yeah, answer yeah, anything yeah, about them. Yeah, yeah, ah, okay. Yeah, see, yeah. see, guys, see, see the science yeah. and the knowledge. You see, the Muslims they have a lot of knowledge. This Abdul he prayed to Allah five times, and Allah he supplicated him with a lot of knowledge. My my Let friend, my friend, yeah, give me the answer. You got the answer? Somebody text you. Yeah. They are the children of Yaqub. <laughs> Guys, did yes. you hear this? The children of Jacob. Okay, where we can find in the Quran that those are the children of Jacob? 
Yaqub, how, how do you say it in English? Jacob, know. Jacob. Yaqub. That's how you say it in, yeah. Ar- in, in English? Yeah. It's Yaqub in Arabic. Do you know that? I know that. This is another question. How we how you found out that those are the children of Jacob? Yeah, I can give you the link. It's here it's saying. Uh, the link it says that. Ah, so the Quran, so the Quran is a book of funny words have no meaning unless we go and search in Google. No, that's Yaqub. Yaqub is the is the origin. Who is Yaqub? Okay, where, where in the Quran it says that Yaqub is Israel? Show me. Uh, how his name is Yaqub in the Quran, yet the Quran called them the children of Israel. How his name changed from Yaqub to Israel? Palestine is the, is the land. My friend, this is another the, question. Uh, this is another question. The guy, his name is Yaqub, Jacob, right? Okay. The Quran mentioned the name of Jacob already. So how Yaqub, you just said to me, Yaqub is Israel, is the same guy. How Yaqub became Israel? What is the story about that? You are asking me again definition. I cannot. I'm not it. asking you a definition. I'm asking you, you. You just said this guy. His name is Yaqub. How Yaqub is called Israel? Is that a mistake in the Quran? Is his name Jacob or his name is Israel or both? Uh, I have to do more research on that. But but I know they're from Yaqub. So that's my point. I can, your point. I can your say. point is taking. It took you a lot to search the internet, and then you came with the conclusion that this is Jacob. Okay, but how we can find, you know, if the Quran is a book of Allah, and Allah is giving us information to teach us about this nation, who the children of Israel, shouldn't He that's tell us? Shouldn't He so tell? Important. Shouldn't He tell us how? Why He is calling him Israel here and calling him Jacob there? What happened? His name is Jacob. We do not need to know all the details of the Quran. No, we need to know. We need to know. Otherwise, why Allah is sending us the book then? Because our main message is to worship only Allah. No, that's my friend, your message is not only to. You, 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 see, you see, you see, if you, if if it, if it's only Jesus. important to worship Allah, why Allah is telling you about Jacob? That's why I said the Quran is not book of science. It's not book of stories. The it is book of, of stories. What are you talking no, about? Jeff Even your God, He report to us no, the no, no. ant speaking to Suleiman. Did you hear yes. the story about yes. the ant? Let and, me and explain. The objective of the Quran is to guide mankind to so, so that they worship only. My Allah friend, what Jesus. mankind? What mankind? You, what mankind? Here we go. How he can guide you, but he could not even guide no, you to tell you book. what kind? Of, it's not. It's a story book. Everything in this book is a book of stories. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Hello, hello. Do you want me to show you stories in the Quran? The Quran is a book of stories, fiction stories. That's why I said it's not only about stories, part of the answer. Then I'm asking you why Allah missed the point of telling us how the name of Jacob became Israel. There is something missing here. That's not the objective. This is the objective. The objective is to tell me about a guy, his name is Israel. His children are children of Israel. How his name is Jacob, but yet we call him the we call them the children of Israel if they are the children of Jacob. How what happened? That's not important. To us. How he got the name Israel? That's, that's not important. I will give you five pesos if you tell me who is the one who gave him the name Israel. It's God who chose the name, not me. Who? God is the one who named them. Okay, okay, okay. but his name is Jacob he here. How, what happened? How, how Jacob transformed to be Israel? What happened? Tell us a story. Where we can find this story in Islam? I said origin. My friend, my friend, the answer is very simple. Your prophet is a thief. He took from the Jews names and he do not know how and what happened. Jacob oh. is a person he was called by God Israel. So the Quran is a book of funny stories which is not connected, disconnected, taking part from here, part from there, and putting the name there, and they mean nothing after that. Because now there's so no way. The, my point is? is, my point is, your book failed to tell us who is Israel. And this is very important. How we will so know now? How we will know? Mean, how a Muslim will know that Jacob is Mr. Israel? Uh, you mentioned good point. Let me explain. You said that the uh, uh, back days in Medina, they used to be a Jewish. So the Prophet used to ask them questions about the, the knowledge of what will come in the future. So mm. you are right there. So why, the, why Allah failed? That's why I said. So it means the progressive prophet was sent after generation after generation. So we took knowledge from them, some knowledge. Yeah, he took knowledge. He took his stole names. You know what took knowledge? Because no, no, he should. No, no, he took if knowledge. he took knowledge from them, if he took, I, I understand. Muhammad took his knowledge from everybody around him. That's why I said. As a, as a, okay, us. my friend, my friend, my friend, yeah. my friend. 
I want you, I want you, uh, 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 Muhammad, Muhammad, you see, yeah. I don't want really to pick up something, let us say, a weak spot about Islam. Can you show me something really solid about Islam to make me believe Islam from God? What do you think, guys? Is that fair? We don't want to pick up uh, uh, things and say, okay, here and there, and this is weak, and this is wrong, and this is a mistake. Show me, choose for me, Mr. Muhammad, a very solid idea. You can prove to us uh, and that Muhammad is a prophet and Allah is God. Choose anything you want. Here we go. I'm listening. Go ahead. Uh, you can read Surah Samad. Ahad. Surah Samad. Wait, what is Surah said? This, uh, this, uh, yesterday I explained it. It's a funny Surah. Does it make sense? Did you did you remember when the, the Arab guy who called me about as Samad and we explained? Uh, it means self-sufficient. Uh, my friend, my friend, I said, I said to you, give me, give me something Islam to prove to me. If somebody says I am God, self-sufficient, as you say, that this did not prove anything. Prove to me that Allah is God. I can say that too. I can say, hey, Christian Prince, I am a Samad. I am the only one. No one like me, brother. I have two because eyes. The, the rest they have. No, my I, friend, my friend, prove to me, prove prophet. to me that Muhammad is a prophet and Allah is God. How you can do that? Go ahead. Through the Quran and the Prophet. Like what? Give me, give me an example. How you can prove that to me from the Quran? If you read the Quran, all, all covered. I did read the Quran. I found it the most funny book. Here we go. I ask you a very simple question about Israel. The Quran failed to tell me who is Israel. That's why I said that's not the objective of the Quran. That, that, no, as long you mention it, you need to tell me who is he. You don't, you cannot, you don't throw names there and you say I do not need to tell you who they are. If I say to so you I right now, if I say to you, reason. if I say to you now. The children of, uh, you know, uh, uh, Monica Lewinsky. Shouldn't you ask me who is Monica Lewinsky? That's from Dunya perspective. What Dunya perspective? He is talking to Dunya. You are, you're God. Allah speaking to human beings. We are not gods. The second you speak to human beings, you speak in their perspective. Then you explain to them in their perspective. We are not gods. We, don't, we cannot see what is the unseen. So you have to tell us what are you talking about? When you see, this is how funny you are. When I speak to birds, I have to speak the language, as simple as that. If I fail to explain to the birds what I am trying to say, it means I don't speak their language. It means I am a liar. It means I fail, and your God failed to explain himself to us. No, 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 no. I, I disagree with you, though. My friend, what is agree? I'm just telling you. Show me, show me where Allah he he did not, he did not fail. The Quran, all of it is a failure from the beginning to the end. Yeah, according to you, not to me. What according to me? I, I'm challenging you here. You are so with you me life, to... my friend. So aren't you, you with Aren't understand. you with me life now? And I'm challenging you. I'm making a challenge. Says, show me where in the Quran Allah did not fail. Everywhere he failed from the beginning to the end. What about your prophet when when the angel came to him and they squeeze him three times? Do you believe in this story? I give you surah ikhlas. Well, ikhlas mean nothing. It's mean nothing. It's actually it's a mistake because Allah He says, "Say okay. Allah is a khad, and a khad is not one as one member, as one as unity." This is a phrase Muhammad took from the Jews, and you are the one who said we took from them knowledge. So the the Bible says, "Oh Israel, your God is a khad." So Muhammad he took it. He put it there in the verse. Ahad is coming from Ahad. Ahad does not mean one. Ah, Ahad means one as unity. This is why the Bible says the man and the wife, the women, they will be they will get married and they became Ahad. So your God is Ahad is not about one individual. It's about one as unity. And the word Tawheed, you Muslim believe in Tawheed. Tawheed does not mean oneness. Mean unification. So again, you are you are believing in the Trinity of the Christian without knowing because you you Muslims are ignorant. You are thieves. You stole names. You stole words from other beliefs, and you do not know what they mean. And this is why you do not know what Israel means. If I ask you now, what Isa mean? I don't know the meaning of it. Okay, what Israel mean? That's not the most important. Okay, hold on. What is Jibra what what is Gabriel mean? Gabriel, Gabriel. What Gabriel Gabriel mean? Angel yeah, Gabriel is, is a, my, my friend. Well, wake up. Gabriel is the name of the angel. Gabriel, who what the name what the word Gabriel mean? Gabriel is the name of the angel who was I got it. I got it. It's the name of the angel. You are very smart, but this is not the question. Who is what when we say Gabriel, we know who is we are talking about who I'm saying what is the word mean? 
don't know the meaning of okay it, well guys count with me how many things the Muslim do not know very important names okay you do not know Jibreel what about is Israel I, I know his, his task what he did but okay but you do not know what the, the word mean word okay what Allah mean? What Allah no, mean? No. What Allah Listen mean? Me. Allah, Allah, what Listen Allah mean? Me. I, what I, Allah I mean? Do not know the meaning of my friend, what Allah, Allah mean? Allah. Don't tell me that even your God name you do not mean what, what Allah mean. Allah comes from a uh, linguistic term that means you see, you don't know your God name. You don't know what is SS. If you know, you will tell me right away. Allah is uh, 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 Suddenly you became like a Morse code. No, Allah means the one who we worship only. The what do you where, 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 where do you get this from? Allah is a name. Allah is a name. Tell me what the name means. It's, uh, it's, 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 uh, my, my Arabic is not strong. So uh, but, I don't know. what does it have to do with your Arabic? You, you know, you see, I don't speak Hebrew. Who told you I speak Hebrew? I can give you that what he does, but I don't know the meaning of what he does. He does nothing, my friend. He controls the affairs of his what Allah lives. mean what Allah mean this is what you say to me each time I ask you a question you say as you know as says okay you asked me a definition so I don't know the I'm not asking you anything you, you know you know nothing you, you know nothing me definition let me see, let me see uh, guys if you are only a Muslim call me if you are not don't call me only Muslims are welcome to call Hello? Hello? Yes. Please mute your uh, your uh, YouTube. Hello? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. All right. Uh, I have a question for you, my friend. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Okay, wait a minute. So you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Are you a Muslim? All right. Yes, I'm a Muslim. What what and is what, I, what what does it mean to be a Muslim if you don't mind? Wait, wait. Let me let me give you a, a question. Okay. Uh, are you scared? What what was is what I'm really with? scared. Go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah. Uh, you say uh, Jacob is Israel? Is that right? <laughs> you are laughing? Yes, because you are very stupid. You don't know your your own book. Is mm. is Jacob is Israel? Ask, I don't know. You uh, tell me. me. You tell me. You you answer with a counter question. Are my, you my my friend, are you my my friend, my friend. Everybody, yes. everybody is laughing at you, not at me. No, 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 no. Everybody is laughing at you. You uh, cannot answer. Give me an answer. Is Jacob? Is he Israel? Who is Jacob then? <clears throat> No, no, no. This is ask me. You, you, you ask. You answer with a counter uh, question. You, you don't give Ab me an answer. Abdul, is Abdul, Jacob, Abdul, Abdul. No, I'm not Abdul. Listen, is Jacob? My my question is very simple. Is Jacob Israel? Yes. Or I'm no? really, I'm really scared to answer you. To be honest with you. Yeah, I know because you are a liar, and I caught you in front of your fanboys. You cannot mm. give me an answer. And everyone can see it. <laughs> do, you, do you see how stupid you are? It's your oh, brother who answer. said. My it's your brother so who stupid. said. Let me show you, yeah. Ab Abdul. Let me show you. Yes. You are stupid like the rest of you. No, no, no. You it's can it's your my, brother. My, you you just got your prophet busted because you're a prophet busted because he is yeah. the one who said that Israel is Jacob. No, no, no. I give me an answer. I ask you the, something. Why, you, why you see, you I ag me? I agree with you that whoever says that he must be stupid. As long as he's a Muslim, because you're a prophet, saying that. Christian Prince, why, why are you free? From are you my are you saying that your prophet is a stupid? No, 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 no. You, are you saying? You hold on, hold on. Answer. Everybody heard you. 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 you. Can give me an answer. Everybody, everybody heard you. Listen, listen, you guys. He said. He said. Whoever believed that Jacob is Israel, he is stupid. This is your opinion, but why no, you don't I want you to repeat answer? that. I want you, you to repeat that. I want you I to repeat. I want you I to repeat you that. Of your, of your I want Everyone you to re I want you Everyone to repeat. I want you to repeat that, please. 
uh, you you're not in the position to want anything because you my friend from my answer. friend i made you it clear I, I, my friend is jacob israel yes he is, is he is he is he is all right, he is, is right now, and now right as long as, as, as listen, and listen, and then listen. as long it's a stupid that's mean your prophet is a stupid all right all right all right all right this is your opinion listen i caught you and i busted you right now listen exodus chapter 4 verse 22 uh the lord says israel is my son even my firstborn hmm. exodus is the first book <laughs> You got busted in front of your fans. Bye bye, you liar. Do, do you know that you are going to be in YouTube and everybody will be laughing at you? Hello? You don't hang up, you <laughs> let me let me let me search for you where where your prophet is speaking about Jacob, you idiot. You just got your prophet busted if this is true. Yes, Yusuf, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, my friend. I have a question, yes? No, hold on. Before you go, your friend, uh, your friend, he said, Jacob is not Israel. You as a Muslim, you agree with him? My friend, I'm not a Muslim. I'm just here to ask questions, yes? No, you are a Muslim. If you are not a Muslim, what do you, what do you think about Muhammad? I have no opinions of him. No, you have opinion. You are a man, and you are calling a show about Islam. So you have an opinion. What do you think about? Oh, I have questions about Christianity. No problem. Ask first. You told me you aren't a Muslim. I want to be sure that you are not telling a lie. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. Okay. Go ahead. What do you think of Muhammad? He is a false prophet or true prophet? I have no. I have no opinion of him. You have to give me how opinion. I, how, how can I have opinion of him? Why not? Why not? You have an Arabic name. Your name is Yusuf Amin. Yet you do not know Muhammad. You never heard of Muhammad. I have heard of him. Yes. Okay. So what do you think of Muhammad? I would say he's a good man. He's a good man. Is he a false prophet or a true prophet? A true prophet. See, a second ago you told me you are not a Muslim and you are a liar. No, I'm not a Muslim. Well, you just told me he's a, you are, you're his true, true prophet, so you believe in him. Can you prove me wrong? You, I can't prove you wrong. What is the prophecy yeah. of your true prophet? Okay, can I, can I ask you a question now? You see, you call me, you call me denying your prophet because you are ashamed of him, my friend. Is that right? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not religious. You are not religious, but you are a Muslim. No. You, no, are, no, no, you are you are a Muslim. Why? How, how, how do you know this? What do you mean? It's on the front of me. Your name is Yusuf Amin. Yeah, so what? So why you are denying that you are a Muslim? I'm not. You said a second a second a second a second ago you told me that Muhammad is a true prophet. Yes. Okay, that's mean you are a Muslim. No, it doesn't mean I'm a Muslim. Okay, I want you to tell me what a true prophet means. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it means. Okay. Do you be, do you believe in Allah? No, but you I don't, believe in a creator. You don't believe in Allah, so Allah is a liar. No, no, no. So, I never said that. so how you say Muhammad is a true prophet, but wait, he, but you don't wait, believe in Allah? Wait, wait. You, you speak Arabic, right? My friend, don't change the topic. How you believe wait, Muhammad no, you, is? You speak Arabic, right? You don't. Speak Arabic. Uh, uh, no, I don't speak. Uh, uh, I, I speak gibberish. Now answer me. How you believe <laughs> that Muhammad is a true prophet, but yet you don't believe in Allah? In Arabic, what is the name for God? God. Rub. Yes. Rub. Okay. Rub. Yeah. And what is? Huh? In question, Arabic Christians. What do they say to? What do they call to God? You, you are talking about the translation in the Bible. Who care? You Muslims no. in the in the we read the Quran right now in translation in English. You say Isa is Jesus, I, I but there's Christian no. Arabic my friend, my friend. Allah. No, we don't. I don't believe in Allah. Allah is a fake, stupid God. Is not exist. Okay. Is Jesus God? I am. And yes. Now, why you is why you God? deny your prophet? Okay, listen, I have a question for you then. Sure, go ahead. Is Jesus God? Sure, the Quran confirmed that. Okay, is Jesus dead? No, he's alive. Where is he? In heaven. Oh, alive in heaven? Hmm? If I go to Wikipedia now, I want to see he's dead. Can you explain this to me? Well, if you go to the Quran, I can show you he's alive. Which one you believe? Okay, Bidya or the Quran? I'm, I'm, I'm not Muslim. I never said that. My friend, are you, are you a person who are saying Muhammad is a liar? No, 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 I never said that. I never said that. Well, the Quran says that Jesus is in heaven. Okay. So, which one you believe? I'm not. وَإِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ وَرَافِعُكَ إِلَيْهِ وَمُطَاهِرَكَ مِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَجَاءَ الَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوكَ فَوْقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا الْيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ So Allah, He says here, He took Jesus to heaven. Are you okay. saying that Allah is lying? 
Yeah, okay, is Jesus a human? What's Jesus? My friend, human? don't change the topic. You ask me a question, let's finish it. You, the, the, yeah, why, why you jump like a monkey? Why you jump like a monkey? <laughs> a second ago, you said to me, if you go to Wikipedia, you will find that Jesus is dead. Yes. Okay, the Quran says that Jesus is alive. Why are you are making fun of Allah? Oh, I told you. I told you I'm not religious. It doesn't matter if you are religious or not. So now, do you, do you swallow your tongue and you apologize to Allah that Jesus is in heaven or you still insist that Jesus is not in heaven? No, oh, you told me should I believe the Quran or not? My friend, religion. my friend, this is not the question. Are you willing to apologize from the Prophet Muhammad that he is telling the truth and Jesus now in heaven or is still you don't believe in Muhammad telling the truth? My religious? What religious mean? Do I, do I believe in the religion? You the see, I, I have no time for a stupid talk. Go. Yeah. Let your dad call me. When I showed him that the Quran says that Jesus is in heaven, now he don't want to talk about it no more. He want to change the topic. And the other donkey who called me says to you, I got you busted. I got you busted, Jacob. Jacob is not Israel. If I show you now your prophet saying that, what you will do? You will cry like a baby. Don't call me, kid. Only if you are brave enough, you deny your prophet, yet you don't dare to talk about your prophet. Hello? Yeah, hello. How are you, my friend? Yeah, I'm okay, and you? Do you agree with the Muslims who called me a second ago? He said, Jacob is not Israel? Yeah the, yeah, the problem is that you, you are very rude. You don't listen to no one to talk. Mm -hmm. You are very, very rude. Let me ask you, when your prophet, he said the Christians and Jews are pigs and monkeys, he was rude? I'm trying to tell you that you, you don't give people to... My friend, my friend, how come you don't find that Muhammad is rude when he calls us the you worst of the rude, creature? You when you call people and, kuffar, you see, you don't... You don't you, 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 you see, look, let me show you how hypocrite you are. I'm how you follow a man, he call names to everybody around him, Fuck and you, he killed them. You see, he just said the F word. Did you hear it? Man. Guys, did you... Say again, say again, say again. He just said the F word. He is, he is saying, I am rude, and he just said to me, the F word, praise be to Allah. The second you get them busted, they are calling you rude. You're a prophet, call us pigs, monkeys, kuffar, nudges, filthy, dirty, worth of the worst of the creatures. And I did not call you any of those names. Coward liar. Coward and a liar. If we go in the Quran now and see what Allah he called the Christians and what Muhammad called the Christians, you will see all kind of disgusting, filthy words. What if I call you Najis Muslims as Muhammad he called us? Hmm? Is that rude? Najis means filthy more than the sewage. And you call me to say the F word. And this is additional proof that Islam is a stupid false religion. The same as the guy who called me to say to me, Christian Prince, are you saying that Jacob is Israel? The second I said to him, what if I show you your prophet saying so? He hang up like a potato. Who's next? <laughs> Christian Prince, I got you busted, Christian Prince. I got you busted. Are you saying that Jacob is Israel by Christian Prince? Christian Prince? Stupid people. Can you find me one of them is smart? Can you? Hello? Hello, Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. Uh, you know, uh, I just uh, watching your video and uh, <laughs> I really shocked about how much stupid Muslims, you know, Okay, what else you want to say? Uh, I want to say to every Muslim that Jesus is Lord and you should obey to him I and to, to be a Christian. All right, thank you, my, my friend, for call. Let us see if we can get some Muslims here. Okay, thank you. Guys. All right, all right, thank you. You see, when Muslims, they speak, they speak out of knowledge. They have no idea what they're talking about. Hello? Hello?
हेलो ओके इफ यू तो प्लीज हैंग यू कॉल मी बैक प्लीज शेख ताला हेलो यस हेलो यस माय फ्रेंड हाउ आर यू डूइंग आई एम फाइन व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट योर ब्रदर ही सेड दैट याकूब और जाकूब इज नॉट इजराइल um why don't you get the answer from your bible from genesis 32 22 to 32 well you can read for us tell us i mean he's saying that uh, that he changed his name into israel right right okay so why your brother he's saying that whoever believe in that is a stupid i'm just saying you got the answer my friend no uh, i don't get the answer <clears throat> my friend I, i'm making a point here your brother he said that israel is not jacob and he's saying he got me busted so do you think he is the one is being stupid or you think he is just a kid do you agree um, do you I, agree that israel is yaqub in the quran or he is different person he he's the same person he's the same person and even your prophet said that correct i'm telling you he's the same person yeah but your prophet he said that right I'm telling you he's the same I person. know you are telling me he is the same person. I'm saying did your prophet say we, that too? We agreed upon something. Can we move on? No, we no, no yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. No. But let us finish it. You agree? Did your prophet tell you that Israel is Jacob? Yes or no? I said go in you I go I I'm going by your Bible. My friend, by if I ask you the question to you then, if I ask you you how you know that I israel is jacob how you how you will tell me who is who is jacob who is israel how you tell me go ahead tell me how you learn you yourself that israel is a guy who is you his name used to be jacob how you know that because allah told me in the quran where that that the ba can you listen please yeah Let i'm listening who's listening go ahead where he told you allah told me hmm. to believe in every book that was revealed by him and the bible is one of those so you are saying today you muslims cannot be cannot, cannot be muslim without believing in the torah and the and the angel oh absolutely okay so so how so how you say how you claim that the torah and the angel are corrupt okay. my friend so so how so how you want to believe in a book which is corrupt aren't you saying that the torah is corrupt Allah is telling me what is not corrupt. What, yes, how he told corrupt. you? How he told you that Israel is Jacob and this is not corrupt? Go ahead. I said, uh, uh, listen to me. Hmm. Um, there is no discussion. There is no debate on that. Why? You know why? Th there is no conflict on Jacob and Israel. You know that, and I know that. Now, now we will know, my, my friend. My, listen to me. I don't know. We don't want to talk at the same time. I'm, I'm talking to you as an adult, friendly and nicely. You as a Muslim, yes. how we will find out that Jacob is Israel? You say to me, you go back to the Torah, correct? Correct. Okay, but the Torah is a corrupt book, isn't it? According to Islam, some part is correct. Okay, is how you know? Part? How you know? How you know that that name there of Jacob to be Israel is the story there is not a corrupt story? Did that he make fun? Did that he made fun of that story? Did that himself he made fun of this story about how Jacob his name changed? So how did that he made fun of that story, but yet you believe in that story? Which one of you is telling a lie? Uh, 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 I already answered, I told you, anything that was not correct, Allah corrected it. Where he corrected Allah it? Where he corrected it? Where, 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 where he corrected it? Where, where he corrected it? Where he corrected it? Corrected what? Where he corrected that the name of Israel, where he told you that Israel, where he told you that the Jews, they are telling you the true name of Israel, that is this is Jacob, where he said that in the Quran? <laughs> Do you understand English? I said, if something is not correct in the Bible, hmm. Allah will correct the Quran. It's hmm. anything that is correct. In the so Bible, if any, so wrong. if anything is not mentioned in the Quran against the the Bible, Allah He approved it. Correct? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, guy. Did you hear this? Anything? Anything? Yes. Okay. So so anything is is in the Bible in in the Bible. The Quran did not speak against. Must be true. Most of it is. All right. So let me ask you a question then. 
where we can find in the Torah that the Jews they worship a guy his name is Uzair. Why why ask another question? You are the one who said that the Quran corrected the Torah, and the Torah is if there is something wrong there, he corrected. Okay, the Quran says that Uzair ibn Ibn Allah. Uzair is a guy the Jews worship, they call him that he is the son of Allah. Where we can find Uzair, which Allah is correcting in the Torah. Oh, so did I say that anything else is correction? My did friend, yeah, my friend, yes, yes, you said anything else is a correct, correct? Okay, that's mean there's no, 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 no. that that's mean that's mean that's mean that in the Torah now we should have a verse says that the Jews worship a guy, his no. name is Uzair. No. Every no, everybody that, that listen that got a brain knows that I'm telling you. You are the one who told me. You are the one who told me that anything in the Torah Allah corrected. Anything he did not mention it, it's me. It's correct. Okay, show me where Allah He correct the verse and where we can find the verse that the Jews worship a guy. His name is Uzair. Who's Uzair? What you would have told me was this never been spoken in the Torah. It doesn't mean that anything else is from the Torah, my friend. It doesn't mean my friend the Jews. The Jews, the Jews believe. Hmm, my friend, my friend. No, I don't. No, I don't have a brain. I gave it to Muhammad so he can extend the size of your penis. Now let us fix this. You can answer to Muhammad whatever you do. My friend, now, my friend. Where is Uzair? Where is the Where is the guy? His name is Uzair. Where we can find him in the Torah? In the Torah, so God does not need to to fix it. It says about something else. No, it's fixed. Says, he says the Jews they say that Uzair is son of Allah. Who is Uzair? Son of who? Allah. Yes, the son of Allah. The Quran says that. He said that the Jews they worship a guy. His name is Uzair. He is the son of Allah. Who is Mr. Uzair? The Quran said that's what they said. The Quran didn't say that. that Absolutely. Is, and you are the one who said to me anything is wrong in the Torah. You are the Why one who said, lying? Abdul, you are the one who yeah. said anything in the Torah, Allah corrected. If Allah, and I said to you, so are you saying that anything Allah did not mention, it's me correcting the Torah? You said yes. So only the wrong things, the Quran is correcting it. Okay. The Quran saying that the Jews worship a guy, his name is Uzair. Where we can find Mr. Uzair? That is not a correction from the Torah. That is a new information Allah is giving us. That the Jews information use about it. what? Information about who? Who is Uzair and who is the Jew who worship a guy? His name is Uzair. Did you see in the Did you see in the uh, in the Torah that, for example, uh, uh, you think Allah going to correct something that has not been speaking? Allah correct what you, what was wrong in the Torah and then talk tell us about other stories. About Jews, <laughs> okay. What Allah, He correct the Jews, my friend. You are the one who said to me, Allah is speak to correct anything. Allah, He correct in the Torah. It's mean this is corrupt. Anything Allah did not speak against, it's not corrupt. That's what you said, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So when Allah He said Uzair is a son of Allah, the Jews they believe in that. It's mean He's correcting them based on your your definition. Where we can find where we can find in the Jews religion, anyone who heard of a guy, his name is Uzair, who worship Allah. And he worshipped the son of Allah. His name is Uzair. Okay. Uh, I know the world is listening, right? Mm. Here's what I said clearly. Mm. Li guys, listen to CP, Christian, uh, uh, whatever you call his name is. He's, I, I told him, <clears throat> anything that is wrong in the Torah, I'm repeating it loud. Mm. Anything that is, uh, that is wrong in the Torah, Allah is going to correct it. Mm. If nobody talks about Ezra, I said everything they say that is not right, that is wrong, Allah is going to fix it in the Quran. Hmm. If they don't talk about it, how can be Allah fixing it? Allah is giving other information about that we do not know about Israelis. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, I ask you, I ask you how you know about Jacob. I ask you how you know about Jacob. You said you go to the book of Genesis, correct? Okay. I asked you why you believe in the book of Genesis. He said because Allah... Uh, he, uh, the, uh, he told me that this is we have to go by the old books came before us I said but isn't it corrupt you said yes but not all of it if, if, if there's any corruption yeah. happen Allah spoke against it in the Quran so now Allah is speaking about yeah. the corruption of the Jews he said that the Jews yeah. call Uzair the son of Allah and the Christian they call Christ the son of Allah okay that's wonderful yeah. so now where we can find the Jews calling Uzair the son of Allah can you find me one Jew believe in this garbage uh, let me repeat you again, uh, guys. Can, uh, you, I think you have a problem. You have a serious problem. I tell you, anything they say, they wrote in the Bible. If it is not correct, Allah is gonna correct it. Whatever they wrote, 
if they write it in the Bible, Allah got to correct it. So if they say that Jesus died in the Bible, Allah said, no, you did not kill him. That's wonderful. See, Allah fixes. It. That's wonderful. Okay, okay now, now Allah, now Allah, he said, now Allah, he said, Uzair is a son of Allah. He's correcting that. Where we can find that in the book of the Jews? Can I see? It, it does not mean that anything else, it, the, the, Quran, the, the Quran is not just to fix the Bible. It's to fix the Bible. It's tell us other things. Oh, I, you, you will not find my friend my friend i got i got your point allah is fixing the jews too fixing the book of the jews the jews they corrupt their book according to you and they call a guy his name is Uzair. where we can find Uzair in the son in the, in the book of the jews where the jews believe that there's a guy his name is Uzair, and he is the son of allah oh my god I, that's what i'm telling you allah is not fixing that allah is telling us this uh -huh. is not in the bible is it in the bible it's it, not it is not so allah is not fixing that it is not so because it's a lie. Because it's a lie. Because it's a lie. Okay, now, now let's talk about Jesus. You said Jesus is dead, right? You said you said the Quran said Jesus is dead. No, no, no I said he's not dead. No, I said Jesus in the Quran. He is alive. He is in heaven. The, your your friend. He said if I go to Wakabidia, Jesus is dead. It's you, Muslim, who said that, not me. No, Allah said that. Why are you lying? Allah said Jesus is. He terminated Jesus' life in this earth. Okay, he did not kill him. He, ter he terminates. My friend, my friend, yes. you see, you are deaf like the rest of you. It's your brother, the Muslim, he said, if I go to Wakabidia, I found that Jesus is dead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's your brother, his name is, is Yusuf. He is the one, he said, that according to Wakabidia, Jesus is dead. He said that, not me. I said to him, no. no. I said to him, no. Jesus, your brother, a Muslim guy, a Muslim guy, he called me before you. He said that. He said, if you go to Wakabidia, hold on, hold on. You let me talk you're a brother he called okay. me before you and he said yeah. if he if he said he I'm said to me is jesus is alive i said yes he said well how come if i go to work abidia i find him dead i said well that, are you saying that the quran lie and then he hung up because i showed him the quran saying that allah he took him up to heaven do you agree with that allah took him up to heaven after terminating after terminating his life how he terminated in his here. life and explain to us that. explain to us how allah terminated how? How? In three fifty, he said, "Oh Jesus, hmm. I am terminating your life, raising you up to me, hmm. and riding and, and, and reading you hmm. of the disbeliever hmm. till the day of resurrection." Hmm. Okay. That is okay. Three fifty five. I know that. And I know five, that, my friend. I know that. <laughs> the question is, when you say he terminated his life, what does that mean exactly? Let's explain to us. To me, it's life. You uh, do you know? Uh, do you know what the what the, do you know the difference between the body and the soul? My friend, just tell me. Do you know that. Don't give me a speeches. Tell me what do you mean by terminate his life? That means Jesus died. Died. Thank you very much, God. Did you hear this? That's mean Jesus yes. died. Okay. So why must they say yes. no? He did not die. Allah took him as alive. I don't care. No, Allah said you did not kill him. Hmm, but Allah but, didn't say he didn't die. He said to the Jews, "You did not kill him." Okay, but, that but, he but, he, but he died. But he died. You said he died. No, but where, not because of the. Okay, where he died? Not, where, no, no. where he died? How he died? Who who cares? No, we care. This is Jesus. Hello, <laughs> who care? <laughs> you need to tell us. Okay, how many minutes before Allah He take him to heaven? He made him die. So, are you saying to me that Allah made him die and then He go to heaven and then resurrected him there? Okay, how about that? How about you tell me? Do you know how? Do you know how Hitler died? Hitler. Do you know how he died? You are comparing Jesus to Hitler. I'm just telling you. Do you know how he died? A lot of millions of people die. Nobody knows how they die. My friend, a lot my, 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 my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You Muslims, you, you Muslims are, are, net, are network of lying because many Muslims they said to me before, many Muslims they said to me before that Jesus did not die. Allah took him up to heaven directly. You are saying to me the opposite. You are saying no. He made him die first. He made him die. Let me ask you, what is your sect? What is your sect? What is your sect? I said uh, he did not die. I have no sex. He did not die at the cross. They said they killed him. Okay, so he, he died. Said, he died after, after uh, uh, but not in the cross, right? But not in the cross. Okay. Allah what is what is your, what is your proof? My proof is is is, is a Quran. 
157 to 159. They friend, never killed him. Okay, hold no, on, hold on. They didn't crucify him. Hold on, they hold were on. made to think that they did. Hmm. Let me let me show you the verse, my friend, and and let us love together. Let us love together. Let us love together. Hmm? You see, four, chapter four, chapter four, verse one fifty seven. Chapter four, verse one fifty seven. What translation do you like me to read for you? I said I don't care what you read. I'm telling you. I'm not telling you. About what translation? translation what translation you accept? What the translation you are reading for me from? You, you. When you read, you read what translation? Yes. Who? Who cares? Ahead, take, okay. Who cares? No problem, guys. Who cares? I mean, well, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm trying to be nice to you. Okay. Read with me carefully. They say in both that we killed Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, but they killed him not, nor crucified him, but it was so was made appear to them. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Listen to this carefully. This guy he agreed that there was a person who looked exactly like Jesus on the cross. No, I never said that. I never said that. Well, he says appear, never, appeared appeared to them. What does that mean? What does that what does that mean? Uh, it okay. was made to appear to them. You can ask that, but don't make me don't don't, don't put words what? in my mouth. Okay, what you, what you is that mean? Explain. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Make me go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, you ask questions, you don't assume things. I'm not assuming I am not assuming this is what all your scholars agree upon. Do you want me to get you busted? Ask me, ask me. Why don't you can ask me? I am asking you, and I'm assuming that you know what the scholars say. Are you saying that your prophet is a liar too? Because you're a prophet who told the Muslims that. You're a prophet who told them that Allah, he cloned someone look like Jesus. Allah said, Yes, there are hypocrites within Muslims. Oh, the, the Muslims are yeah. hypocrites and they are telling a lie. Okay, what is your lie? Tell us your lie. Tell us your Just lie. Just listen to me. Me, hmm. don't don't tell me what. Don't put word in my mouth. Okay, so you ask me. What was made appear to them mean? Now, okay, now I, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm a give you an answer uh -huh. from the Bible. Uh -huh. Okay. Hmm. Now I want you to go to to Matthew twenty seven uh -huh. seventeen. Hmm. Go to Matthew twenty seven seventeen. Hmm. On the revised standard, on the revised Bible, hmm. on the revised, on the on the original, he said, "What does it say? It says." When the pilot came, when they got Jesus, put him in prison, right? They put Jesus in prison, and there was another man called Jesus, the Barabbas. Hmm. Who was Jesus, the Barabbas? There was two people called, but that's why I asked you yesterday that, that question. Hmm. There was two men called Jesus in that jail, hmm. and the wife, the wife of the pilot, hmm. said, "The pilot, do not kill that good man. Hmm. Don't deliver him to them bad people." Hmm. And the pilot asked. Hmm. Who do you want me to deliver you? Uh -huh. Is this Jesus hmm. Barabbas hmm. or Jesus called Christ? Hmm. They said Jesus, the so called Christ. Hmm. He delivered Jesus Barabbas. It's in your own Bible. <laughs> so, but which one they crucify, my friend? They crucified Jesus Barabbas. Where it says that, my friend, they crucify all of them, my friend. They crucify everybody was there. However, however, listen, they crucify everybody knows you. You see, you just you just destroy your Quran. You just destroy your you just destroy the Quran. You just destroy the Quran. This is how stupid you are. Because if they if they crucify a guy, his name is Barabbas. That's mean the Quran is lying. The Quran is lying then because the Quran says made to appear to them, appear to them, which mean they saw someone look exactly like Jesus. If I change the name if let us say hold on shut up idiot shut up if there's 10 guys their name is muhammad still there's one person he looked like muhammad yes okay jesus Barabbas. he looked jesus exactly Barabbas. like jesus he looked exactly like jesus the one they want to crucify nobody said he looked like jesus my friend my friend like my jesus. friend the jews the jews all of them they knew how jesus looked like the jews they witnessed his miracle by thousands he was speaking to them he was witnessing to them he was a preaching them he spoke to them in the mountain he spoke to them in jerusalem he spoke to them in bethlehem he spoke to them everywhere so how the jews they will be fooled by a guy just because his name is jesus are you stupid or what uh, 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 in your own Bible, they say, "Did we really kill Jesus the Barabbas?" They asking themselves a question. My friend, my friend, my my friend, my friend, you are a foolish man because the same book you are reading saying tens of time that Jesus was crucified. I said, uh, "Listen to me." In your own Bible, it is saying that they have doubt. Who did they kill really? In your own Bible, where where it says they they have a doubt about who they killed there? You show me where it says that. Go ahead and pull. Uh, <laughs> Matthew 27, 17, uh, uh, 
<laughs> my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. How are you saying it? Oh, hold on, 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 hold on. Don't don't scream, don't scream, don't scream, don't scream, don't scream, don't scream. Take it easy, take it easy. Does it? Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Did the book, did the book of Matthew? You said the book of Matthew, right? Yes. Okay. In the book of Matthew, the book of Matthew, did the book of Matthew speak and confirm that Jesus was a crucified? I said, did the book of Matthew starting? My friend, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. How many times? And you repeat. What's wrong with you? In the book of Matthew. In the book of Matthew. In the book of Matthew. What's wrong with you? How many times the book of Matthew confirm that the one who was crucified is Jesus? Matthew, mm -hmm. I said the people are asking themselves, who did we kill? Yeah, so the pilot had so a who we will kill, 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 but they killed Jesus. No, no, do you know? Do you know open do you with know me, do you open know? with me. Uh, don't be don't be a foolish man. All the Christians, the book of Matthew is in the front of us, people are laughing at you. People are laughing at you. Let me let, let me hang up on you and call me after I play this this chapter. And so everybody can hold on, hold on. Call me back after I play this. I will show everybody how stupid you are and what you are saying and how silly it is. You Muslims are very confused and you are going against your own Quran. Muslims are the most funny, stupid people ever I met in my life when they tried to explain to us their book and our book. They do not know what their book mean. They do not know what our book mean. When I say to him, the scholars of Islam, they say so, he said, they are more afiqun, they are liars. You are the liar too. You are no different. This is the book of Matthew. Matthew 27. When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned and that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, What is that to us? See thou to that. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. And the chief priest took the silver pieces and said, It is not lawful for to put them into the treasury, because it is the price of blood. And they took counsel, and bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Wherefore that field was called the field of blood unto this day. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him that was valued, whom they of the children of Israel did value, and gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord appointed me. And Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Art thou the king of the Jews? And Jesus said unto him, Thou sayest. And when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou not how many things they witness against thee? And he answered him to never a word, insomuch that the governor marveled greatly. Now at that feast... The governor was wont to release unto the people a prisoner whom they would. And they had then a notable prisoner called Barabbas. Therefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will ye that I release unto you, Barabbas or Jesus, which is called Christ? For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a so you see guys how they lie the ruler he said which one you want me to free for you this person or this person and the verses says it clear who is the one who was afraid very stupid of you very naive of you and you are being a donkey like the rest of you and not only that you are making mockery of the Quran he's making mockery of the Quran and even the, 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 the story told by Muhammad himself how are you, Hassan? Hassan, are you there? And even the, 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 the story for... Hello? Yeah, hello? Mute, uh, mute the YouTube, please. Yeah, hello, hello? Okay, mute the YouTube. Yeah, hello. Mute the YouTube. 
Okay, mute the YouTube. Okay, go ahead. Man. I'm not. I'm not going to waste my time asking you to mute YouTube. Hello. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Christian Prince. Okay, my Tell friend. Me. Let me ask you a question. Do you agree with this guy saying? Is it true? Is it true what the Quran says that Allah he cloned or Muhammad said that Allah he cloned someone look like Jesus or you don't agree? Allah said, Allah said that he switched Jesus Christ with somebody else. Okay, so he switched, so he cloned. It's not somebody. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not what this guy is saying. He, made, he he made someone look like Jesus, correct? He made someone. He he made someone look like Jesus, correct? Okay, so you believe. Okay, okay, so you believe. So you believe God died. You believe God? No, we no, God. no, we don't believe anyone can kill God. Nobody can kill God. Nobody. No, nobody can kill. Did. Nobody can but kill God. No, no, no. They kill, they kill the flesh. They kill the, the they kill the man. The flesh of the man. Nobody can kill God. God is always alive. <laughs> Let me ask you okay, a question. Let, let, let me let me let me laugh at you Tell too. Me let me laugh at you. Let me laugh. Level. Let me uh, let, let me laugh Are at you. Let me laugh at you. Just just, just to show you that your Muslims are a bunch of ignorant. Isn't it your prophet who said the one who 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 who, who was killed? He is alive. No 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 no. Okay okay. Did okay. your prophet say you that the that one who Jesus is killed Christ, for? As, did your prophet say? Don't say, shout! Don't shout! Don't shout! Don't shout! Don't shout! Did your Did your prophet say the one who died as a murderer? He is alive. He is not dead. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Abdul. Yes or no? The one who died as a murderer. The one who died as a murderer. He is alive. Are you accusing your prophet to be a liar? Listen to me. Are you accusing your prophet to be well, a liar? Chapter two, uh, verse one fifty-four. Chapter two, I, verse number one fifty-four. Just set up. Read with me carefully, guys. Those Muslims are making fun of their book. Don't speak to me with respect. I will hang up on you. I'm, I don't have to talk to you. This is your prophet saying that the one who they are killed, and this is not Jesus, just a normal Muslim, the one who is killed as a murderer. You think they are dead, but the fact they are alive, and you don't know. Are you accusing your prophet to be a liar? Chapter 2, verse number 154. If this has happened to a normal Abdul, what will happen to someone he is not? He is like Jesus. Hello? Yes. What do you say about your prophet saying that those who die and killed for the sake of Allah, they are alive? Do not say. He said, "Do not say that they are dead. Do not say." I asked you earlier. Do you make a difference? Do you know that the soul never dies? Do you know that? Barnaba, you don't know that. Barnaba, Barnabas. Yeah, they killed the Messiah. No. They killed the Messiah, my friend. Why didn't you read to them that this this part, this section you read? The, uh, uh, you you start reading. Uh, my, my, uh, my, my friend, my friend. Let me play for you again. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Show me where there in that verses it says that they they let they let the true Jesus leave and they crucify the wrong one. Show me where it says that. He said he said those those who thought the killer are full of doubts. They're full of doubt of who they kill in your own what Bible. What doubt? What doubt? What are you talking about? I do read for me. Let us laugh together. Let us laugh together. Let us laugh together. Let us love to let us live, let us live, let us love together. What verse you are reading from? Okay, hold on, let me read it for you. <laughs> what, what verse? What verse? What verse? You just put it out there. You just put what it out verse? What verse? What verse? What verse? Told you Matthew 27, hmm. 17, and following verses. Okay. That's all I can tell you. Let me, let me play it for you again. Shut up. Let us play it again. I will play it for you again. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him that was valued, whom they of the children of Israel did value, and gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord appointed me. And Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Art thou the king of the Jews? And Jesus said unto him, Thou sayest, and when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, 
Hearest thou not how many things they witness against thee? Yes. And he answered him to never a word, insomuch that the governor marveled greatly. Now at that feast, the governor was wont to release unto the people a prisoner whom they would, and they had then a notable prisoner called Barabbas. Therefore when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will ye that I release unto you, Barabbas or Jesus, which is called Christ? For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor answered and said unto them, Whether of the twain will ye that I release unto you? They said, Barabbas. Pilate saith unto them, What shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? They all say unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why? What evil hath he done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. Then released he Barabbas unto them. And when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers, and they stripped him. All right, that's enough. So did you see it, my friend, or why you are lying? Hello? Uh, you want to show the good thing, I you bring one fifty seven when he says, and those who thought they killed him are full of doubts. Why don't you my show friend, that? My friend, I, have, I, have, I have no time. What no. doubt? What no. doubt, no. you stupid? Get lost. What? The, the, the verse in the front of me, the verse in the front of me, we play for you everything there. This is the verses. What, what are you talking about? They, he said there clearly that they crucified Jesus. They insist we want Jesus the Christ. Which one you want? You want Barnabas or you want Jesus? And the guy, he washed his hand from the blood of Jesus because simply don't call me Hassan now. Hassan, don't call me. What's wrong with this, Abdul? Just wait, wait. Let me answer the other guy, Hassan. Just wait. Have, have patience. He said, I wash my hands from his blood. Why? Because that's it. He's an innocent man. Why he's washing his hands? Because the decision is made, because he have to do what they want. They knew who is his, who is this guy, and who is this guy. You see how stupid you are? He is asking them, which one you want? It's meaning they know them both. You cannot fold them. He said, which one you want? Jesus the Christ or Barnabas? <laughs> That's mean the crowd, they knew exactly each one of them very well. He said to them, but this person, he do nothing wrong. Hello? Uh, hello. Yes, Hassan, how are you? Uh, let me explain the origin of Ben Israel. Oh, you, you get the answer now, the origin of the Israel, okay. Uh, I, yes, I was ignorant about it. Okay, good, good. Go ahead. So, so the origin comes from, we agreed, Yaqub. Mm. So Yaqub had many children. Okay. And then they were origin from Palestine, where they call Canaan. Canaan. Mm -hmm. How do you say Can Canaan? Okay, no problem. Go ahead. Canaan. So uh, the other name of the synonym of Canaan is Palestine, or you can call it Israel. So that's why they are called Bani Israel, the children of Israel. Yeah, but that's why but the name came. But my friend, this is not my question to you. The question was. How you as a Muslim you will know that Israel is this guy? Like now you get this information, but not from the Quran. No, we affirm it from the Quran. From the Quran, you found it? No, no, no. The Quran okay. doesn't. So take, uh, this, no, this, no. I said the Quran doesn't tell yeah, so all the details. This, this I'm saying the Quran, if it's a book from God, shouldn't be complete and tell us who is this guy we call, etc. How do you want name, to know why? How his name changed? How his name changed? You know why the story is not there? Why? Okay, why? Uh, because the uh, the Prophet told us that. Do not believe everything the old scriptures say. Just take the what's the narration, authentic narration. You take it. If it's fabrication, you reject. No it. So problem. No problem. So now, how how you will know? Okay, if he is he is saying to you, don't take. He's giving you 
Do you yeah, to take whatever us. you want? No, no, he gave us permission. He said, No problem. Uh, okay, he took now that the guy, his name yeah. is Israel. Okay, how Muhammad he, he took that and how his name became Israel? Shouldn't he tell no, us? Because you remember the Jews lived with him during that time in the crash line. My friend, so I don't they care. Just if they, questions. they don't care if they live. No, nobody is asking question. Muhammad is saying things. Nobody's asking him. When they no, do, no, they, they used to ask they, him questions. Okay, uh, they ask him a question, but the question they ask and him, then, the, the and question then the, they the ask, question him, they are, the, my friend, the, the question the Jews ask Muhammad always get Muhammad busted. You do not need. No, no, no. He didn't know. Need. Yes, yes. Okay, let, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Uh, What's your okay. point now? I don't understand. To be honest, I explained my part. Okay. So what's your point? Uh, I don't the Jews they ask Muhammad questions you are right but they did not ask him to learn from him no they used to learn no no we used to learn lessons from the stories of really the they Jews. used to learn lessons or they make fun of him no no lessons lessons you mean life lessons like mm. parables you know we used to get knowledge from them but not a hundred percent okay because well, that's let, let us see let, we let use us oral see. tradition you know, oral see. tradition as I know as I know the Jews they came to Muhammad they used to ask him questions. Yes. Uh, the Jews they came to Muhammad and they asked him questions. Let us see if they asking questions. Uh, uh, to Not all times. No problem. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Let, let, uh, uh, they ask him questions, but we want to see if they ask him questions to know or to make fun of him and get him uh, busted. No, no. Let me state one point. Let me. Can, can you allow me to talk, please? Hmm. You know the six the six articles of faith. We have to believe all the books. You know that in, in, in as a Muslim. how you can believe in the books if you don't have the books that's why i said if it's authentic we take okay. it if it's I want fabrication, you, Hassan, do, do you see my screen with me uh uh i no, want no, I, can't see. I want you to you, look, yeah. i want you to look at the screen please this Hello? is this is sahih hadith. do you see the screen yeah okay uh, a guy he came to muhammad and supposed he present the jews and he asked him a question same he said to Muhammad I want to ask you about the three things which nobody knows unless he is a prophet do you know the story he was a Jewish man yeah yeah a Jewish man he said to him I want to yes. ask you three things which nobody knows unless he is to be a prophet yeah okay. yeah yeah I know okay firstly what is the first portent of the hour what is the first meal of the people in paradise and what make the baby look like its father or mother so this is the question that Jews they ask Muhammad to know is a prophet do you think this is really a story this is how you know a prophet or not or this is just a guy is making fun of Muhammad and he is hypocrite you know trying just to or this is no, they used to test him okay so they, they used to thank you very him. much they are testing him guys did he say it? you said yeah, they are testing, testing him, him okay, if let, us see, real prophet. let us see if your Muhammad failed the test or he was succeed the prophet said just now just now gabriel has informed me about that just now he received a message but that guy asked him a question right away muhammad he received a message abu abdullah said gabriel he said yes abdullah said he is among the angels is the enemy of the jews is that true is that is jibreel is the enemy of the jew at that time yes that's a big fat lie. I challenge anyone to show me where the Jews they no, hate. I God. said at that time. What at that time? This is funny, man. Why the Jews they would hate Jibreel as an angel of God? That's stupid. Let us continue. Why well, well, you yes, I agree with you. At that time they used to hate yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. At that time, at that time. The Jews today they are time, better. Yes. The Jews today are yes. better. But at that time they were bad. Okay. On that yes. prophet uh, recited the holy verse saying, Whoever is the enemy of Jibreel, let him die in his fury. <laughs> and then he continued. For has brought, i.e. Quran, down in the heart of the permission. Okay, and continue. And then he said, as for the first portent of the hour, it will be a fire that will collect the people from the east and the west. So Muhammad now is saying, there's a fire will come down and will collect everybody from the east and the west. Continue. And as the first meal in paradise, it will be the crudit, i extra, the fish liver, actually the, 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 the liver of the whale. The liver of the whale and as now muhammad explained how the baby resembled the father or the mother by gender he says and as if the man discharge proceed of the women then the child resembled the father and if the women discharge proceed of the man the child resembled the mother when when abdullah he, he heard that he said i testify 
I testify that you must be the prophet of God. Is that a story proving that Muhammad is a prophet or proving that he is a scam, my friend? He was testing him, man. No problem. No problem. The guy, when he said, he, I testify that you are a prophet, was he making yes. fun of Muhammad or really he believed Muhammad is a prophet? No, no, he was testing him. To, okay. To, to okay. Tell How he testing him? When, when Muhammad, he said, when Muhammad, he said that as, as, as the, why the, the question was what? The question was how the baby and what makes the baby look like the father or the mother, correct? The answer was Muhammad, your prophet answering, as for the baby, how the baby resembled the man or the woman, which may be a male or female, he said. And if the man's discharge proceed of the women, then the child resembled the father. And if the women discharge proceed that of the man, then the child resembled the mother. Is that a prophet talk or this is a person making fiction story, stupid story? No, this is the unseen matters, man. What's what? It's the unseen knowledge. What unseen knowledge? You can go right now and go. Because he, talk got about it, it he got it from, no, no, no. How he received the knowledge is that angel Jibreel re mm. received revelation from Allah. Thank you. So, so he gave the so, information. So now, so now this is an answer coming from Allah. So if this answer is coming, yeah, from, yeah, Allah, it's coming from Allah, of okay. If, if if the answer coming from Allah and the answer is wrong, it's mean Allah is a fake God. Correct, guys? Do you, do we agree, Hassan? Do we agree that if this That's answer, I, if the answer no, is no, wrong, no. if the answer is wrong, it's mean Allah cannot be God, and Muhammad can't be a prophet. No, 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 no. Because Jibreel told him that. Okay, but this is wrong. I can ask anyone there. Look, look, look at the text. People are laughing. Look at the text. Where is the signs? Hey, people in the text, who of you believe that if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl? If the men have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. Who believe in that? Nobody. I don't know the the the, the interpretation of that. My friend, uh, it's very simple. It's, a, it's very simple. It's okay. in front of you. It's in front of you. It has context, man. It, it's have a context. That, the context is there. What's wrong with you? No, no. That's that's the apparent apparent meaning. Apparent understanding. There's not his is called like apparent. That. It's not kind of apparent. The guy is asking him very simple question. The guy there is not a doctor. Muhammad is not a doctor. That's he claimed, why I said I was all he, he claimed, he claimed that the means. one who told him that is Jibril. He's saying why the man, why the baby resembled the father or resembled the mother. The man Muhammad, he said, Jibreel, he told me that. Look, if we go back, look, I you're, affirm it. You're a prophet. Your prophet is not saying. I said I affirm it. I what? I affirm it. I I, I, I accept that okay. narration. No problem. I, I know you accept it. This is not the problem. But you see, the problem yes. here, Muhammad is not even saying, I'm guessing, maybe I'm wrong. No. He's saying just now, Jibreel told me. Do you see it says here just now? And where is Jibreel getting the information from? From Allah. He's getting from Allah. Thank you very yeah. much. Okay, so if the information is wrong, it's mean there is no Jibreel, there is no Allah, and Muhammad is a false prophet. No, no, it doesn't make him like that. What do you mean? Doesn't mean it, it says uh, who in the world believe that? So if you want me to leave Islam now? I'm not asking you to leave Islam. I want you to stay as a Muslim. If you leave Islam, I'm, I'm, I'm going. If, I go if to all Christian, the Muslims love has, Islam, I'm going to laugh at you. Things. You know, my friend. I cannot become Christian. I cannot become Christian. I don't want you to Bible become a Christian for now. I want you to stay Muslims because it's fun. Listen. Do you really believe that if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy? Do you really believe in that? I don't know about science, to be honest. I don't know about to science too. I'm not a I'm not a scientist. You know, the, the highest do, degree. Do you have, have science proof? The, the only like the only license no, no. I have is a driving is it, license. My friend, this is another question. Can you prove it? Can you prove that is 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 not uh, it's not that case? Can you can do you have evidence for that? What evidence of what? To to disapprove what the prophet our prophet said. Yeah, we can we it. can go right now to Google and we can type. Guys, you you type you type for Mr. Hassan. I don't know um, about science to be honest. So that's you, why I said my, I my cannot. Friend, my I friend, cannot you can teach. you can type right now in Google how the baby gender is narrated and how and what make the baby resemble the father or the mother. Very simple. I have nothing to do. Who come first? This is yeah, that's why I said I'm first. not science. So, so so you're a prophet making it so clear that he is is a false prophet because he's talking about. If the man discharge proceeds, no, I said I affirm it. I said it's true what he said. I didn't say he lied. Can I you, I, you I know I know what you said. Yeah. I'm then why, why I'm are you questioning? I'm explaining to you that this is cannot be true. No, it's true. Agree with me. I said it's true, it's true based on me, it, based of me not knowing about the signs. That's oh, why so, I said. But, so but you, the narration, you, you believe but the narration you be, of that, you I, be, you I believe affirm in it. it. Okay, you believe in that just because uh, your prophet said that, but not yes, because it's said, true. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. I believe him because he said it. Okay, okay. That's, that's my point. Yeah. That's fair, that's fair. So yeah, let's move on now. So so you 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 are confirming to us that your prophet 
he is a prophet even if he say lies and you don't care if it's true or yeah, not according to your logic yes according to your logic not not according my logic not understand. my logic everybody any you can ask any kid they will tell you that this is a this is a stupid there's nobody believe i will not become thing. christian because christian itself is a false religion so what do you expect me to do my friend the christian is self false religion because muhammad told you that but look muhammad is lying no, it's to a you. false religion because it contains a lot of evil things if you read about the old testament like, shamsi like, was like, like, like what like what tell me evil things Shams about. shamsi his video do you watch his latest but, video why he don't call me and get him Busted. He don't. No, do no. It. Did, did you watch? Uh, my did friend, watch? my friend. I posted under his video there. I told him, call me. No, that's not me. my question. My friend, I'm my friend, my friend, my friend. My friend, my friend. Yeah, I saw his video. I laugh at it. And not only that, I what post. Did he say about the I post. Testament? I post under his video. Says, if you are a man, call me. I read for me. That's not my question again. That's Let me answer question. you. Let me answer you. I that's said, not my question. Shut up. Shut up. Don't make me hang up on you. Don't act like. That's not my question. I'm asking you. Don't act like a kid. Don't act like a kid. I want to ask you a question. Let me take another Muslim. Hello. Hello. Again. Hello. 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 Yeah. He he is your friend again. Who your is good the, friend? Who are you? My how are you, my friend? Uh, I was the one who asked you is uh, Jacob Israel. You uh, you remember? Oh, okay. Okay. And and you yeah, said yeah. Let, let, and, let us try. Let us try uh, to debate with, with respect. Without insults. Okay, right? let, let me ask you a question. Are, are you yes. still insisting that Jacob is not Israel? That, that I never said it. You said that? No, I never said it. You I said asked that. you, is. Huh? You said that? No, I asked you, is Jacob. Uh, Israel? <laughs> go, 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 go. This guy, did this guy, he insists that Jacob is Israel and he was making fun of me for saying that? Are you sure? Are you sure? Let us go to the book of Exodus. Are you sure? <laughs> now, because we got him busted, this is what his prophet teach. Now he don't want to talk about it no more. Let us take. Uh, 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 look like we have many calls here. All right. Stop talking to that guy. Talk, talk, talk to me. <laughs> okay. Yes, Abu Bakr, how are you? Uh, are you afraid? Are you afraid? Because you are a liar. You, why you don't admit your mistake? Why you don't admit? You made fun of your prophet. You made fun of Islam. You made fun yes. of Islam. You said that Jacob is not Israel. Okay. Okay. Let us go, let us go back to zero. Let's go to back zero. Okay, Jacob is how, Israel, right? How, how you learned that Jacob is Israel now? How you are convinced? What happened? No, you know, I never... Okay, okay. I, let me let me start from, from zero. Hmm. In Exodus chapter hmm. 4, hmm. verse 22, God hmm. said, you cannot deny that. God said, Israel is my son, hmm. even my firstborn. Is hmm. Jacob God, uh, God's son and his firstborn? Is Jacob is my father? Again, I repeat again. Mm. In Exodus chapter mm. 4, verse 22, mm. God say, Israel is my son, mm. even my firstborn. You cannot deny it because that is in your because this is a new Because this is a new nation will be called from now on the nation of Israel. So he is the first one to be called Israel. And if, after that, everyone will be called Israel too. No, no, no. He say he's no, 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 no. Because now he's so, a new person. Because he is now. Because you see, my friend, my friend, my friend. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Israel is the one who he just he just named him. He just named him Israel, and now he is the first one to be called Israel. And if after that, all of them they are the children of Israel. So he is the first one. He is now born, and he is a new person. His old name it was Jacob, and now the name it changed. Now let me ask you. Did your prophet agree with that or not? No, you interpreted the. Did your prophet? The did your prophet agree with that or no, no, not? No, no. Did your stay, prophet stay, agree stay with? On, stay on the topic. Did your, pro the topic. Did your prophet stay agree with that or not? I he stay. Said, I stay so, in the topic. I answered you. Now it's time to, for you to answer me. No, no, no. Did you your prophet? Not. Did your prophet show agree? Everyone, show everyone. Did, if you're did, a real man. My, if you're a real man. Abdul, if Abdul, you're a real man. Abdul, show Abdul, everyone. Abdul, shut up. Every day I have to shout like like crazy. <laughs> show everyone, show everyone, show everyone. <laughs> my friend, God does not have a children's. We call him our father. This is my son. Does not mean he have a son. He gave birth to a son. 
Secondly, this is the new name of Israel. This is not his real name. God gave him the name. And your, your friend, the one, the funny friend who called before you, he said, yes, this is what the Bible teach. So it looks like you both of you are ignorant and you do not know what are you talking about. One is saying to me that the Bible is wrong. Jacob is not Israel. And the other one saying to me, Jacob is Israel. Yet you're a prophet agreeing with me, not with you, Abdul. When we ask a Muslim, where is the name Jacob coming from? They do not know. They say we go and read the Bible. But isn't it the Bible corrupt? They say no. Some of it is corrupt. Some of it is not. Let us go to Tala. How are you, Tala? Sheikh Tala. I'm great. How are you? I'm I'm fine. Fine. What do you want to say? I want to tell you, I want to first confirm you to, to you again. Hmm. Reading verse 159, you were telling me that in to Muslims, Jesus never died, right? That's what you said, right? Hmm. You're a you said Jesus, you're, you're, you're a prophet, you're a prophet saying that. No, I've heard that said, but people said that. Okay, okay, okay. My, my friend, my, my, my friend, my friend, uh, you, what, 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 uh, please, do you believe in the hadith or you don't believe? I don't believe on that hadith, on that particular hadith that said that Jesus did not, Allah said he died. My friend, that, I'm asking you, don't, don't tell me I don't believe in that particular hadith. It's not up to you. Either you believe in the hadith, all of it, or you don't believe in it. Do you believe in it or not? There's some, there's some sahih, there's some daif. There's some good one, there's, friend, there's some life. Okay, do you believe in the sahih hadith or you don't believe in the sahih hadith? I said there's some bad hadith or the sahih hadith. This is not the question. I'm not asking you to believe in the bad hadith. Do you believe in the sahih hadith or... or, or huh? I say hadith, sahih, they are not sahih. Do you believe in sahih, right? I said some are said sahih, they are not sahih. Do you understand English? Okay, I'm asking you why you are not brave enough to say which one you believe in. Every hadith that contradicts, I don't know where it is. Sahih or not Sahih? Anything, contra contra anything contradict what? Anything contradict what? The Quran. Okay, anything contradict the Quran, they don't take it. Okay, the Quran says you pray three times. The, the Hadith says you pray five times. Which one you choose? The Quran said five times. You're a liar. Show me. I'm going to tell you. Show me. Exactly. Show me. Hold on a second. Yes. Show Hold me. on. Okay. Yes. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to show you. Go ahead. You're a super liar. I'm going to show you right now. All right. Give me one second. <laughs> This guy is a liar, man. Oh my god, let us laugh together. Yes, hmm. I'll, 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 give me that one second. I'm, I'm looking at it now. If you want the verse, I, I have it in the screen right away. Uh, the, I don't need you to get help. Hmm. Yes, okay. give me one second. I'm gonna tell you hmm. five times a day, hmm. and I'm gonna tell you where the five times are. Hmm. I heard you saying that that's a day. Mm. Yes, I wanted to come back. Okay. Accuse, accuse, accuse the book. I'm waiting for you. Lying. I'm, wa I'm waiting for you. Everybody will laugh at you in a second. Nobody's going to laugh at me because I know what I'm talking about. Let us see. No. I know. Nobody's going to laugh at me because I know. You see, if you know your book, you shouldn't right away give me the verses. You are, you are taking you forever looking for pages. <laughs> Because I'm at work, I'm just trying to be do do my best. What, to what talk kind to. of a person at work he is calling and chatting in the internet? You are a good employee. Go ahead. Yeah, I am a good employee. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. for having been six times the employee, best employee of the month, right. six times mm -hmm. this month out of these 520 employees, mm -hmm. and I and I got six times, six times the best employee. Right, right, uh, right, uh, right, uh, right, right. Okay. Now, uh, uh, what is the verse? Show me. Yeah, give me one second, man. I'm looking. Mm. You know, I was already. I, I was going to talk about something else. Now you, you, you want to talk about the the prayers? Mm. We're going to talk about it. I am running away from your. Don't peace. give me a headache. You know what? I will give you 15 minutes to find it and call me back. Yeah. Let me call you back. Yeah, call me back. You see, you see how much he's reading in the front of you. It says, "An established regular prayer at the two end of the day, and the approach of the night." How many of those? Three. <laughs> If the Quran saying to you five times, if you want to show me verses saying five times, it means the Quran is a, is a joke. 
how he said to end in one approach of the night. It's a tray. Stupid cult. Hello? Hi, CB. Hello. Hey, my friend. Hi, uh, CB. I'm, yeah, I just want to say one quick thing, just like let you carry on with your stream. Okay. Um, the story about the Abdullah asking uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad about uh, knowing three things which only prophets know. Mm -hmm. And after um, uh, Muhammad gave his answers, mm -hmm. he's, um, uh, Abdullah said, okay, um, you, you are surely a prophet. Then if Abdullah mm -hmm. knows the answers, then he must be also a prophet as well. Correct, because uh, because, because only prophet, they knew that. So how Abdullah himself, he knew the answers. The whole story is fake. The whole story is, is fabrication. It shows how hypocrite the Quran is and it shows how the hypocrite the Hadith is as well. Yeah, I mentioned that so many times before. You see? If he said he said to him from the beginning, I will ask you about the three things nobody knows unless he, he is a prophet. But the guy himself, he knew the answer. <laughs> so so he's a prophet too. I mean, do you, see, do you see how secret it is? At, nobody knows. Nobody knows unless he is a prophet. <laughs> All right, my friend. Thank you for calling. Right, thank you very thank much. You, thank you. Thank you. Call me. Uh, uh, Sheikh Tala, I'm waiting for you. Five prayer, right? <laughs> and he's excited. <laughs> the Quran in front of us, what a stupid book, full of contradiction. If God, he says to you, you pray three times, it's mean you pray three times. That's it. He mentioned to you the prayer of the day. Hey, Muhammad Hassan, how are you? Well, hello. Welcome. So what do you say, yeah. Muhammad Hassan? What, what, what did you do some search and call me back? Uh, what I'm saying is that how many prayers the Quran said, Muhammad Hassan? Hello. How many prayer mentioned in the Quran? No, I want to address. Uh, okay, okay. You want to address a new topic now? Address what? You want to talk a new topic? Sure, go ahead. New topic, no problem. Yeah, you're asking me a question, so go ahead and ask me a question. Okay, I will ask you what is the topic you like me to ask you about? I don't know. You're the one who, who is in charge. Do you like me to ask you to... about things in heaven or things in earth? And ask me anything. Anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you. Uh you know that your prophet was under the control of a black magic, correct? He was possessed, yes. Possessed, thank you very much. Okay. Did, did you hear Mr. Muhammad saying that he was possessed? Okay. Yeah, it what, was one incident. One okay, incident. no problem. What what it's mean to be possessed? Explain to us. Not all possessed. times, not all no times. Problem, no Remember. problem, no problem, no problem. Don't do misquote me, please. No, no problem, my friend. I did not misquote you. I did not say all the time. I did not say one time. I did not say anything. Yes. You said yeah. that he was possessed. What possessed mean? Uh, I think uh, he was uh, something, you know, the magician, what mm. they do. What they do? He put something on his hair or something like that. I don't remember the whole story exactly, okay. but he did so, something to make him uh, to make him keep forgetting. In you know, his mind wasn't functioning because what he did, the magician he performed. Mm. So he yeah, was, so that was one story. I think it's authentic narration, if I'm not wrong. But I don't remember the whole details of the story. But it happened. All right. So so you you agree that your prophet was possessed. And but, then after that, there was three chapters. Chapter 112 to chapter 13, 113, 114 was was revealed to to, to seek to use it as a protection for ma magic. All right. Uh, uh, anything harm. Um, you know? Okay. So it was authentic. Yes, authentic. Okay. I cannot. Okay. I cannot deny. How we can protect ourselves from magic according to the Quran? I said there was three chapters. The last three chapters friend, of the Quran. I, I understand how we can protect ourselves from magic according to the Quran. Do you know? Christians or as a Muslim. No, you are Muslim, Muslim. I want, I want to be a Muslim, so I'm going to how I'm going to protect myself from magic. You see, I, there's many people uh, after uh, me. They want to put magic chapter, on me. I give you the Quran. I have, a, I have a friend. His name is Sham Shamoon. He shaved his head because he don't want anyone to steal his hair and do magic for him. According to chapter, uh, that guy, I think he's, he's maybe he has mental illness. It's not magic. No, he's maybe very he smart, is. my friend. He's, he's smart. No, no, he has mental illness. illness. No, don't think don't so. disrespect my brother. This is my brother. Be careful. Uh, chapter no, one thirteen. No, Chapter 113, verse number 4, it says, in order to uh, uh, to protect yourself, you have to do and say certain things. And he said that, Muhammad, people, they can make for you a magic by making a knot in the rope and they blew in it. <laughs> do you believe in that? Uh, I'm, I don't know about the magic world, to be honest. No, I'm not saying about magic words. They make a knot, 
They make yeah, a the knot. Quran, yeah, yeah okay. I accept it. Yeah. They make a knot and then they blew in it. Oof, oof, oof. Do you really believe that's, that somebody can control you by doing that? That's one of their practices. What What is the practices? That uh, they're tying the knots and then they blow something because the magician they do different things to perform. You see, the we switch all the translation. Finally, we found one is no, being I, I accepted. Okay. I did, so I did they blow, I they did blow deny. in the knots. My friend, yes. I, I want you to blow in the knots to control me by magic. Can you do that for I'm, me? No, I'm not a magician. I cannot do that. Okay. Can do you know any magician can control me from far away by blowing by the knot? Like he's just a tie knot and oof, 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 you know? not all not all of them. Maybe some they can do. Ah, some okay. Let me ask you a question. Is, is magic do. is magic is evil? Of course, it, ch it 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 changes the functioning of your brain. Well, that's wonderful. It's evil. So you agree it's evil. It's evil, yes. Who is the thing. first one who taught magic? I think uh, Suleiman time. You Su know Suleiman? Suleiman, he taught magic. He well, he opened magic school. No, no, no. Suleiman. Some people, some of his followers, they taught ma magic. Mm. Some of his followers. Are you sure? You know Suleiman? Solomon? I know him. We used to work together. Solomon, Prophet Solomon. Ah, Prophet Solomon. Okay, I thought my neighbor. Yeah, his followers, his followers, some of his followers were misguided, so they start teaching. Well, I don't uh, know. Magic. I, I, my friend, I don't know where you get this information from, but the Quran it's says. It's in the Quran in Surah Baqarah. Yeah, the Quran says that Allah He opened a school for magic. No, no, uh, where? Here we go. The Quran says that Allah He sent uh, two angels, Please. their name Harut and Marut. And they open a school to teach magic. It was a test. Remember, don't misquote. My it friend, was a test. my friend, that doesn't matter. You you said to me the bad people. You said you said to me first it's evil. You are the one who said magic is evil. But why Allah then sent two angels, their name Harut and Maroon, to open a school in Iraq in the Babylon to teach magic? Why he did that? Why Allah he did that? Uh, there's a context of it. Let me explain. Go ahead. Can I explain? Sure, sure. Because those two angels were sent to test the people. Hmm. Can you hear me? Yeah. They were sent as a test, and they, they 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 told the people, please do not perform magic. We are only to test your faith. If we do it, you will be scared. If you don't do it, the mic, on, then you are a good people. So they were test. God commanded them to test them. Okay. But so, they didn't perform so Allah, with the permission okay, of okay. God. Guys, look look at this verse in the front of us. This is the proof that Islam is coming from the true God. There is no question about that. Allah, he decided two angels, their name is Harut and Marut, to open a club and a school to educate you. To test them, to test them. And my friend, hold on. Uh, to, 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 to teach, to teach. Uh, Not to teach, to test the people. Uh, yeah, but they, no, they are teaching. Read with me. Here we go. They taught anyone. They taught anyone. You see it? Taught meaning they are testing. No, they, they are teaching. Test. No, my friend, they are teaching. Stop Here we go. Read, 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 read with me. Read with me. Read with me. Let me explain. Let read, me explain. Read with me. But the evil ones teaching men magic and such as thing as came down at the Babylon to Did the angels, know? to the angels, Harut and Marut. So okay. who is the first one who knows the magic? The only two they knew magic in earth. It was Harut and Marut, right? You're you're not reading the whole the whole chapter. The read whole it, okay, read the it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Verse. I'm listening. Go ahead. Read it. What happened to Sheikh Talal? He he said he wanted to give me. He wanted five. Read? The five uh, what prior. did they say? Huh? Let me explain. But neither of those taught anyone hmm. without saying we are only for trial. So do not blasphemize. Hmm. We're only trial. We are we are only for trial. Read the next the next line. Hmm. We are only for trial. So do not. So that means they were sent to test the people. That, that was the objective. That, that's wonderful. That the... That's wonderful. So you are saying to me, be, before you join join the magic school, who rebooter the angels, no, the, the, next the, the angels, they make you sign disclaimer that this is only a trial, yeah. right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. guys, did you hear this? The angels, they make you sign a disclaimer. Say this is only we teach they you only for you, a they trial. They warn you. They warn you. The they they warn you. Work. Thank you. It's called disclaimer. Disclaimer. Okay. We are not. Yeah, yes, we yes. are teaching you, you how say. to shoot, but not to kill. The disclaimer. Disclaimer. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, they so me, yeah. but 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 the magic is that is there is a good use for it. No, it's a bad thing. It's evil. So why the angels are teaching evil? What's the objective of the story? You do not understand it. I, I explain. Well, to explain you. to me. You know, if if the I said those if, two if, angels were sent friend, from my God. My friend, if the magic and you agreed from the beginning, it is pure evil. So why the angels sent by Allah to open a school in the Babylon to teach magic if it's evil? 
So it's like me asking you why is there evil in the world? Is that no, no, I'm not asking you that. I'm asking you why. That's what I'm saying. No, Allah, it doesn't make sense. Your already we have already we have Satan is doing his evil. We do not need Allah to add more evil. So if Satan is not Allah, and why Allah, me, and, Allah, Allah. and Allah is not Satan, why so Allah me, is doing Allah. the act of Satan? Now we have Allah and we have Satan. Both of them they are evil, teaching us evil. So why, why are you asking evil. me? Why are you asking me? I'm asking you because you are the one who said to me no, that. Do not ask me. I'm not the one who sent the angels. I'm, no so problem. Not I'm not asking you, my friend. I'm talking to you. That's why I said, do not ask me that question. Ask Allah. So this question is see. very embarrassing because Allah obviously. No, is no. The I devil. said, ask Allah. Why are you asking me the reason? I'm not the one who sent the angels. Allah, so Allah, what, what Allah, you want? Allah is the devil. What's your point? Allah What's is your the point? Allah is the devil. I don't understand. Okay, Allah is. I'm not the one who sent the angels. Allah is the devil. That's that's the point. According to your logic, yes, because we can move on now. No, it's not my logic, because you are the one that's who said. That's why said, I said, ask Allah. You are the one who said to me. You are the one who, the one who said to me. You are the one. I'm not the one who sent the angels. Are you the one who said that evil is uh, magic is evil? But in this form, it takes us a trial. It doesn't take us. It doesn't as, matter. As doesn't matter. But it's evil. It's pure evil. So the why? Context is important. The why? Context why the angels important. are? Why the angels are teaching evil? The context is important. Okay, hold on, I hold. Sheikh, Sheikh Tala, Sheikh Tala is calling. He's trying to answer us about, uh, about the the five prayer. How are you, my friend? Are you back? I'm back. Okay. Did you find the five prayer? Oh yeah. All right. Go ahead. I'm finding them. All right. Go to 2458. Allah said expressly, expressly. Mm -hmm. uh, what, 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 what is uh, again? What the verse you said? Quran, what 458 24 5 8. 24 5 8. You said dawn prayer, the dawn prayer, my friend. The big two, Quran, the first what? Prayer. Quran, what 24 5 8, brother. Right. All right, go ahead. Read for me. Down prayer. Oh, you want to open the book too? I thought you was gonna put it out there. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I want to be sure what are you talking about? Go ahead. Twenty-four fifty-eight. Okay. okay. I told you I'm at work, but hmm. it's not a big deal. All right. Twenty-four fifty-eight. Hmm. Where is the five? Where is the five prayer there? Yeah, it's verse after verse. I'm pulling you a verse for every prayer. Okay. <laughs> Listen now. Listen. Right. I said 24 for, for a down prayer. Mm. I, you ask me a question. The, the whole world go, is go, listening go. to go. me. Let us laugh together. Let us laugh together. Go ahead. 2458. Allah said, All you who believe, permission must be requested by your servants mm. and the children who have not attended the property. Uh -huh. This is done in the uh, in the three instances before the down prayer you see down prayer mm. now we're gonna go to next okay I'm listening i'm listening no one one by one so how many prayer we have now in this verse i got i got one down prayer first now i'm going to noon prayer mm. noon prayer on 1778 i'm gonna read you 1778 mm. 1778 I show you that you you do nothing but lie, but mm. lies is not gonna let us stand. Laugh. Let us see who will laugh at the end. Seventeen what? Yeah. Seventy eight. Seventeen seventy eight. Mm. Now, did you hear a down prayer? Did I read down prayer on seventeen uh, on on, on twenty four? Uh, read, 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 read. Go ahead. Yeah. Wow. Seventeen seventy eight. Did I say right? Hold mm. on. Noon prayer. Mm. You sh you shall observe the contact prayer, Salah. Mm. When the sun declines, mm. when the sun declines, see that? Mm. When the sun declines, mm. okay, mm. that's the that's the noon prayer. <laughs> what, what, what 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 the noon prayer? Where is the noon prayer there? When the sun declines. The 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 noon prayer, the noon yes. pra the noon prayer. Where, where is that? It says that where? Seventeen seventy eight. Uh, read it for me. Read, Seven, the, read the verse for me. Read the verse for me. You shall observe the contact prayer when the sun declines from his from its its highest point mm. at noon. Okay. As it moves towards sunset. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's uh, seventeen seventy eight. You are reading what translation, my friend? Hey, pick any translation you want and read it for for, for the world. Okay. So now you accept all the translation. All the translation accepted by you.
Arabic. It don't matter what translation. My, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Do you accept all the translation? Yes or no? Do you accept all the translation? Do you accept all the translation? I want to be sure which translation you are reading. I'm reading in Arabic. Does not matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, read from re read it for me in Arabic. Then what what do Luke mean? No, I what? want the world to hear. It. No, read for yes. me. You said you are reading in Arabic. You do not read translation. You are a liar. Read for me what the word do Luke mean. What? Where is the word? It says the noon in the in the verse there. Which one? I said when the sun declines. Where it says that in Arabic? Show me the word. I want to see the word, my friend. What's wrong with you? It's no problem, brother. Whatever you want. I'm going to fry your read air. Read for me. That. Read for me. Read for me the verse. Read for me the verse. So we can love together. Read for me. Read for me the verse, my friend. Not well, 1778. I'm going to read for you. Read for me the words in Arabic. Which word in Arabic <laughs> there? It says in the noon time. Which one? Which one is the noon time? Which one is the noon time? Which one? Which word? 1978. Which one is the word noon time, you idiot liar? You do not know even what you are reading. You're wasting patience, this is why. This is why. Sorry, there's a commercial here on this website. This is why you cannot you cannot read the word because you're a liar. You are a liar. Which word? Don't read the whole verse for me. Which which word is the one saying noon time? Which one of those? Let me. I told you 1778. Let me. Which read one of the verse? Which which word? Which word? You can read the whole verse. You cannot. You don't know Arabic. Get lost. Get lost. Don't ever call me again, you coward potato. You do not know which word is the one which is the noon time, but you want to read for me the whole verse. Do you know why? Guys, they have they have what is equal to Arabic. They read in English or Latin, but they are not really reading in Arabic or like in Urdu, but they are not reading in Arabic. They, they resemble the sound. That's why when I ask him which one is the word it says noon time, he do not know. Let me read for you the whole verse. This is not what I'm asking you. Which one is the word? Which one is the word? Don't call me Hassan now. Just wait. Which one? Which one is the word which is noontime? You don't know. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes, my friend. How are you? Uh, my friend told me uh, you deserve the capital punishment. Oh, okay. What is that? Death? He said, "If you lived, if you lived in a Muslim country, the leader should have killed you right, right now." Okay. Well, my friend, not me. My friend, you, uh, tell your friend you made me fart. No, my friend said, "Not I, I'm me." Telling I'm you, I'm Muslim. telling you what he told you. You know what he told you. Know, you he told me. I'm telling you. Tell him, Christian Prince. He said yeah. you made you made him fart. Okay, I will tell him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now let so me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Uh, that's that's not me who said. Okay? No problem. No problem. No problem. I, I I believe you. I believe you. You are, you are a very truthful person. It says here in chapter eleven, verse one fourteen. I want you to read for me and tell me what this verse is saying. Uh, I cannot see on the screen. This is the only verse in the Quran speaking about how you pray, or let us say how many times you pray. It's the, it's the period of times where you pray. No, what times? This is the, the only look. The verse is so clear, and establish regular prayer at the two ends of the day, and at the approach of the night. How many times the total? Uh, it, it can be five or four. Where is four? Read with me. Establish, Establish regular, regular prayer, prayer at the, the two, two ends, ends of, of the day. This is two, right? Hmm. Okay. And the approach of the night, what is the total? Uh, let me explain. At the two end of the day, it can uh, it's the morning, yeah. evening. Thank and you. afternoon so those are three and the two nights are no, 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 no. And the end of the day it stays but how, how stupid are you it says two it says two end of the day not the three end of the day <laughs> if it it doesn't my mean friend it, it says no let the me, end of the day speak. the end of oh, the day man. the end of the day you just let, let your so dad you, just shut up please shut up i can't take stupidity no more it says the word two how the word two became a three The two end of the day, it means three. The two end of the day and the approach of the night, the total is three. The other idiot, he's trying to find me verses in the Quran. Sheikh Tala, did you find which word it says the noon time? 
I told you, I never said no. Did, I said, did you uh, find the word? Did you find? Don't waste my time. Are you a kid yeah. or an adult? Did you find the word? Did you find the word? Yes. Okay, which word? Yes. What is the word? Lidulukishamsi. Which what? What is the word? I said. I said it. Lidulukishamsi. Why you did not say that what? to me right now? What? When I asked you, why you did not say that? Because you do not know, right? You did search. I, I didn't have the thing in my memory. I had to read. My friend, no, have... no, I told you which word. I did not ask you to read the whole verse. Listen to me. Okay. I'm not listen, a listen, listen. I gotta... Let me get you busted. No. Let me get you. Let me get you busted. This is the diction. This is the Arabic dictionary. As no. long you claim no. that you speak, as long as long you speak Arabic, as long you claim you speak Arabic, read for me what the dictionary says. Let me let me tell you. I don't have a dictionary. Read let me the dictionary. Read the dictionary. It's in front of you. I don't have a dictionary. I have it in the screen. Read it. This is your Islamic dictionary. Uh, 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 listen to me. I said it's five prayers. I read the dictionary. Hmm? Let me tell you the five prayers. The read Quran. the dictionary. Let me tell you the five prayers. Then in the shut Quran. up, you coward. <laughs> don't ever call me again. What a kid. You see, they don't want to read the dictionary because they will get busted. This is not an additional prayer. This is the same as we see in chapter 114. The approach of the night. In the old days, the approach of the night is not really like now. Like now, you know, to say night is like, you know, uh, you, the night is something really long. And if we know that the Jews, even the Jews, they established a Sabbath. As soon as the sun, sun set, it is a new Saturday. The Sabbath is not really about middle of the night like now. So when the sun set, don't call me, don't call me, don't call me, coward, don't call me. When I show you dictionary, that's mean I got you busted, and this is why you don't want to read it. Don't call me. What a coward you are. I have no time for kids. There's many Muslims who want to leave Islam. Many Muslims want to leave Islam, and we have to help them. I have no place for cowards. If the Quran says, the two end of the day and the approach of the night and you are trying to prove to me that it's not right that's mean you are trying to prove the quran to be wrong was allah wrong when he said the two end of the day and the approach of the night obviously he must be wrong you know wrong according to this guy i am not the one who's saying that and just to show you how stupid you are you're a prophet will get you busted muhammad he confirmed it clearly that he did not receive the Quran uh, in the Quran the prayer five time it was Allah who gave him the prayer five time when he went to heaven but not in the Quran it was after a bargain between him and Moses and Allah hold on Hassan hold on don't call hold on hold on wait Hassan I will tell you to call me when I'm done hold on if we go in the hadith we will find the following uh, when Muhammad he went to the seven heaven, seven eleven heaven. You see that when the Muslims they try to prove me wrong, they get their prophet busted. Because if the story you are telling in the Quran is true, it means the story here, or the one you are trying to say it's in the Quran, that means the story here is a lie. Let us see. Uh, here we go guys read with me carefully how Muhammad received the order of a praying five time was it delivered to him by Jibreel or it was delivered to him in the heaven of Allah but we do not know how after Musa has asked Muhammad to do bargain with Allah read carefully with me the messenger of Allah said Allah joined 50 prayer upon me my nation and I came back with that until I came to Moses. Moses says to me, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi Muhammad, what your God joined for you, Muhammad, upon your nation? I said, he has joined me with 50 prayers on me. Musa said, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi Muhammad, go back, Muhammad, go back to your Lord. You know, Musa is a Jew, they are very good in mathematics. Your nation, Muhammad, your nation are not able to do that, Muhammad. Then I went back to, to, uh, to Musa's and I told him, 
actually you know what let me show you the story more details this one i don't like it <coughs> hassan didn't i tell you wait until i finish no let me let me state one point and then i go away okay hold on hold on do you believe in this story that allah he told muhammad to pray 50 50 prayer yes okay why Musa's why why Allah given Muhammad 50 prayer? That's his wisdom. I cannot question. Okay, can you discuss with Allah and you can can you make Allah change his mind to change That's the, the unseen matter. That's the unseen. I cannot comment on that. What do you want me to do? What do you it's mean? Unseen. You, what do you mean unseen? It's it's the, the story unseen is then in the heaven. I wasn't the there story, to experience what was taking place. The story is in the front of us, my friend. The story. It's like me asking you why God put us on the uh, on the earth to cause evil and corruption. It's mm -hmm. like asking no, you like this that is not question. The question. It's a stupid question. Why Allah He asked Muhammad to pray fifty times? That's the unseen. I cannot comment on the unseen matters. I, I wasn't there. What do you mean? I cannot comment why he gave him 50 and why he made it. That give, is, it why that is do you think God will give this count from 50 to 5 just because Musa is the Jew? He asked him I to ask for a discount. The can you, I can you, can you, can you, does, can you, uh, can you, like, can you ask God for discount in prayer? That's why I said it's the unseen. What unseen? It's not unseen. unseen. It's in the front of when us. The story, the story, place, the story is in the front unseen. of us. It says that Allah, He gave. Yeah. He gave Muhammad 50 prayer. But you are questioning me. You're asking me why. I'm asking you what is the reason why he gave him 50? Was so Allah that's wrong? That's why I said I wasn't there to ask God why. Why did why did you give us 50? What, that's why was I'm Allah, you. Was, that's Allah, my was Allah wrong? Was Allah wrong? According to you, not me. Hmm. Let us read here. Let us read the story here. I, right. I get the whole story. I already know. What's your point? I don't Guys, know. Read, read, oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. Let me go. Let me read. Are you Guys, crazy? Read, read with me. Read with me. Read. Let us see who's the clear crazy here. You want me to leave uh, Islam? Uh, no, I don't want you to leave Islam. If you leave Islam, I will laugh at who? Stay as a Muslim. Read with me carefully. When Muhammad he went to the seven heaven, which the story is amazing. After after they installed a dish of wisdom and dish of etc. Okay, and look here, Muhammad he saw in the heaven uh, uh, a palace is made from lulu, from rubies and from uh, pearls. <laughs> Actually, no, he saw he saw he saw a river. Uh, a river in the edge of the river there's a there's a, uh, a palace made from rubies and pearls let me see where it says that um, okay 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 Let, let's go to the story here from the beginning everything in this cult is amazingly a lie this is stupid idiot he's trying to prove to me that Allah he gave in the Quran five prayer which is totally the contradiction of what it says here because Allah has not even gave him five prayer, he gave him fifty, and that a contradiction for the Quran, where the Quran says that Allah He said to him, pray in the two end of the day, and that a contradiction that Allah never said to Muhammad, pray right away five, and He never said that to him in Quran, but He spoke to him supposedly through a mysterious way, you know, delivery guy, maybe Jibril in the heaven, we do not know, but it doesn't say here how 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 this happened. <laughs> Don't call me Muhammad Hassan. Don't call me. Don't call me. Wait. After Jibreel came and he cut open all his body to Muhammad from all the way from his throat all down to his testicles. He took all the material out of his chest and the abandonment and he washed it with water of Zamzam. And with, with his hand, stupid, don't call me. Don't force me to block you. I will block you. Don't force me to block you. Don't force me to block you. Don't be stupid. Wash it with Zamzam with his own hand and cleansed uh, uh, the inside of his body. Muhammad's body is very dirty. You cannot take Muhammad to heaven with the sewage inside him. So we have to do laundry. And then a golden tray containing gold bowl full of belief and wisdom was brought. And then Jibreel stuffed his chest and his throat and the blood vessels with it. <laughs> And now Muhammad is ready to go because he's so smart. Now he have a plastic surgery. They put inside him a dish of wisdom, a dish of belief. And the angel, he stuffed. He stuffed. Look, look, this is not my translation. And Jibreel, he stuffed his chest and his throat. Blood vessels with it. The blood vessels of Muhammad are stuffed 
with belief and wisdom. This is Islam. This is what they are asking you to believe in. Now we continue the story to go where the prayer is. Is the prayer really the five prayer is coming from the Quran? No. It's from the Hadith. Even I can show you a fatwa about that. Even in the fatwa, it says that. Stupid Abdul, they have no idea what they are talking about. Uh, if we go down, you will see here, let us see. Uh, here, guys, look at this. Then Jibreel took him around that heaven, and behold, he saw another river at the bank of which there was a palace built of pearls and emerald. He put his hand into a river and found its mud is like musk. See, guys, there's a palace at the side of the river. And the palace is made from pearls and emerald and rubies. And the mud inside the river is like a musk, full of hashish. And for he asked, what is this? O oh, Jibreel. Jibreel said, this is the kawthar which your Lord has kept for you. Wow, the, this is the river just for Muhammad. This is for Muhammad. Muhammad will play in the river alone. He have his own swimming pool. <laughs> Then, then Jibreel scanned with him, with Muhammad, to the second heaven. And the angel asked the same question as those on the first heaven, i.e., who is who is it? Guys, each time Muhammad want to enter the gate of the heaven, the angel is say, who is this? Who is with you? Huh? Read, read carefully. If you go here a little bit, you will see the guard for the gate of the heaven they ask question okay when jibreel ar arrived he said then he scanned with him into the heaven of the world and knocked at one of its doors the dwellers of the heaven ask who is it <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Uh, somebody tell those angels to install like a, a ring, a, a ring ball camera, security camera, face recognition. The angels who they are guarding the gate of Allah, they do not know who is in the door, and they are asking who is it, and why the heaven of Allah have a door? Is that a physical door? Yes, it's not a metaphorical. As you see, even they are knocking at the door. They are knocking at the door. Do you see it? And then they ask, who is it? He said, Jibreel. Like the angels do not even know Jibreel. They are asking, who is this? They cannot even see behind the door. He's, they said, who is accompanying you? Oh, they saw somebody there, but they do not know who is that. He said, this is Muhammad. They said, has been he recalled? <laughs> the angels of Allah, they don't have the name of Muhammad that he is, you know, he's invited. They check their list. Muhammad, 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 Muhammad. We don't see his name here. How come we don't see his name? So they are wondering, has he been called? He said, yes, like, yes. Then they said, Oh, he is welcomed. So the dwellers of the heaven became pleased of with his arrival. And then they did not know what Allah would do to the prophet on earth. Unless Allah informed them. I mean, look, look at the look at the logic, guys. Everything is explained in details. They don't know what Allah wanna do with the prophet unless Allah informed them. Okay. 
the prophet met Adam look what how the prophet he met with Adam if Muhammad he said I am the first to be resurrected in the judgment day what Adam is doing there what Adam is doing there let it go let it go over the nearest heaven Gabriel said to the prophet he is your father greet him the prophet greeted him assalamu alaikum Adam and Adam returned the greeting and said welcome welcome my son <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I was smoking too much hashish. So, what a good son you are. Behold, he saw two flowing rivers while he was in the nearest sky. He asked, What are those rivers? Oh, Jibreel. Jibreel said, these are the source of the Nile and the Euphrates. What? The source of the Nile and Euphrates are in the sky? In the heaven of Allah? That is proven by science. Where is the Nile River is coming from? Is coming from the heaven of Allah. Where is the river of Euphrates is coming from? Not from Turkey. Not from Japan. No, it's coming from the heaven of Allah. Then Jibreel took him around that heaven. And behold, behold. I like to say behold. Behold. Guys, come tomorrow. And behold. And behold. And behold, I turn my head up and down. I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around. And all what I can see, just a bunch of idiots around me. I mean, what is that? What is that? Stop watching Science TV. Watch Muhammad. He knew. He knew where the rivers are coming from. The Nile River and the Euphrates is coming from Allah in the heaven. They are running there right now. Okay. Then we continue. After he saw a palace made built of pearls and emeralds. You see, Muhammad, he will not live in a normal palace. No, no. It had to be built from pearls and emerald. It must. I mean, come on. This is the prophet of Allah. And then, uh, Muhammad, he'd been taken to the second heaven. The angel there asked the same question at the first gate, which means, who is it? Hello? Hello. I, I want to know more about this Harut and Murut. It's very funny about them. Yeah, we will we finish this story and then we can go back to Harut. No more, more no problem, my friend. Okay, right. thank you. You're welcome. I will call Harut and Marut immediately after we finish. Jibreel replied, They ask, Who is coming with you? Look like all the angels of the gates, they have no idea about Muhammad coming. There is a very there is a technical difficulty, and nobody is informing anyone. Let us see. Oh, we have a we have a we have a Muslim on a debate. Look like we have a serious challenge here. Somebody texted me. I have a very serious challenge. Who is accompanying you? He said, Muhammad. They ask, has he been sent for? He said, yes. They said he is welcome. He Jibreel ascended the prophet to the third heaven. And the angel they ask the same question again and again. Okay, unbelievable. Stop calling me, man. Let, let someone else talk. Abdul, the 
one is calling me. I'm calling you back. Answer. Why you don't answer? Okay. What we can do? You are scared? Somebody is saying to me, are you scared? You ban me from the chat? I am not the one who banned my friend, the admins. Obviously, you are scary. Private setting, not public. Stream, please. No, I don't, I don't uh, ch chat in private. All right. And then they said the same story, and then they took him to the fifth heaven, and then etc. And then look what happened here. We arrived to the story of the prayer. Uh, when he went to the seventh heaven, they said the same to him. On each heaven there were prophets, those names he had mentioned. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. It's uh, Abu Abdullah from yesterday. Hey, Abu Abdullah, how are you? Still alive? Okay, so. So, Abu Abdullah, let me ask, let me to, ask uh, you. Let me ask you. Why Allah gave Muhammad fifty prayer, and then because of Musa's Allah, He made him have a discount to five prayer. I think you just answered your own question. I, no, I did not answer. I'm asking you why he made the discount. Allah gave him 50. Why he made it five later? That's a strange question because you just said, well, Rasulullah, when he went to the heavens to meet Allah, Allah prescribed 50 prayers. Hmm. And then when he went to the heaven where he saw Abraham, where he saw Moses, hmm. Moses said, uh, your, your people won't be able to handle it. I have experience Thank with, you. you know, the children. So it was Musa. So it was Musa's. Musa is correcting Allah because Musa is saying they cannot handle it. So Allah was making the wrong decision. Thank you very much. So what kind of God? He do not know that the people will not be able to handle it. And Musa, he knew. So Allah, he did reduce it because of a Jew. How do you know that Allah didn't know? Well, because he gave him 50 prayer. You are the one who said that Musa says to Muhammad, your people cannot handle it. Correct? Okay. Who is the one who discovered that your people cannot handle it? Musa. Allah is the one who gave what people cannot handle, which is 50 prayer. Who is the one who told Muhammad, your people cannot handle it? It was the Jew, Musa. So why Allah did not give him the right number? If not Musa now, the Muslim will be in trouble. He could have gave him the right number from the very beginning. Right. But from his wisdom, he didn't give Right, him right. So he and gave him 50. So waiting for a Jew to fix the, the religion of Islam, the, the, the religion of Islam now is shared by Musa, not by Allah. It was Musa who keeps saying to Muhammad, go and ask your God for discount. Read with me carefully. Allah gave him, gave me 50 prayer. He's following the, the night. The, then the prophet descended till he met Musa. And then Musa stopped him and asked him, oh Muhammad, what did your Lord join upon you? The prophet replied, he joined upon me, performed 50 prayer in the day and the night. Musa said to him, your followers cannot do that. Go back to your Lord and reduce it for you and for them. So the prophet, he turned back to, uh, to Jibreel. So as it wanted to consult with him about the issue, and Jibreel told him his opinion, saying, yes, if you wish. So Jibreel scanned with him and uh, risible, and then he, uh, and he, uh, like he asked Allah, Please lighten our burden as my followers cannot do that. So Allah reduced them or deducted uh, for him that uh, 10 prayer. So now we are we have 40. Why Allah he made the 50 40? I just answered your question. No, you did not. not Why he did not say to him right away five? I mean, what the what the point of this bargain? Are we talking with God or we are talking with the guy in the grocery store? I already answered your question. No, my friend, you are not. You are running away from the from the answer. Why he reduced? Why he did not say to him, "Okay, you know what? This fifty is too much. I will make it five right away." What the point of Muhammad going up, going down in the elevator? 
uh, this is a joke. It's like cartoon, like a Mickey Mouse. Muhammad going up, going down, 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 going up, going down. Call me tomorrow. Going up, going down, going up, going down, going up, going down. And each time Muhammad he go up, you know, he asked to reduce. And then he go down. Moses he said to him, Are you stupid? Go and ask Allah for more. So this is from the wisdom of Allah. What, what is the wisdom? What is the what is the wisdom? Where is the wisdom in that, my friend? If you will let me finish, I would have told you. This is from the wisdom of Allah. He he prescribed fifty prayers, mm. and then when Muhammad mm. met Moses, Moses said, "Your followers won't be able to handle it. Mm. Ask your Lord for reduction." Mm. When he went back, he went down to forty, and so forth and so on, and said, "What's the five? Mm. This is from the wisdom of Allah. You can't ask why. But but, but, I, but, I don't, I, but my friend, I don't see wisdom there. I see I see stupidity because if Allah is wise, He knew that is going to be five anyway. So what the point of Muhammad going up, going up? What what happened? What the change happened in the life of Muhammad? And Abu Bakr and Omar and and Osman and Ali. Why didn't they question us and say, Muhammad, this doesn't make any sense, but I can follow you? My friend, who said who said nobody did not question? Uh, my, my friend, the they they questioned the and Arab. The Arab they made fun of Muhammad. The Arab they broke the teeth of your prophet. They made fun they, of him. What they, are you talking about, Muhammad? He have no teeth from the beginning of his life because the Arab beated him for lying. So don't tell me did not a question. I am asking you now. What is the wisdom behind that? Why Allah right. giving him fifty if fifty is impossible? Okay, so at the end of the life of Rasulullah, the whole peninsula of Arabia. Converted to Islam by killing, by killing, by Islam? killing, by by sword, by blood, and the same day but he died, he, the same he, day, he, the same, the same he, day he died, the same day he died, uh, Abu Bakr he waged a wage of war. Is that true? The same day he died, people left Islam. It's called Harub al Ridda, the apostate, the apostate war. So the people they heard Muhammad he died right away. He decided to leave Islam. They thought now Muslims are weak and we are done with this. When when he conquered Mecca, it was a peaceful conquest. Right, very very peaceful, very peaceful. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. What is the wisdom of fifty prayer? Why Allah gave him fifty if it is five? If it's going to be five, do Allah knew the future or he don't know? So the question is, why did not the pagans of Mecca question this? Why did they? Who told you did not to question it? Who told you did not to question it? All of them they question it. They laugh at him. No one questioned it until you, you are the one who said you are the one who said he conquered Mecca. Mecca did not submit to Islam, surrender to Islam, he conquered it. You are the one who said that. After he conquered it, who dared to question? He is the shut up, man. Don't lie, don't lie, don't lie. You you just said you just said he conquered Mecca. If Mecca converted to Islam, there's no need to conquer it. He conquered it. He did not make it accept Islam. He forced it to accept Islam. He conquered. Do you know what conquer mean? I said, why did he do it peacefully? If he, what peacefully? If he killer, how how you do how you do it peacefully yeah. by conquering? How you do it peacefully? It was a war. What peacefully? Could he, could he not have killed them. He killed a lot of them. He killed a lot of them already. He killed a lot of them. Just shut up, man. Don't 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 please. First of all, Mecca is his family. All of them they are his tribe. All of them they are cousins. All the people of Mecca are one family. They are Quraysh. If Muhammad killed them all, it's mean he killed all his tribe. He have nobody left. This is his family. Now, either you want to answer me, what is the wisdom? Either you answer me, what is the wisdom of this? Or you tell me, I don't know. What's the wisdom of what? Of giving him 50 prayer, but the fact he, Muhammad, he keep asking for discount. Because the religion that you're supposed to, but you let me ask you, let me ask you a question. I'll make it simple for you. If God said to me, I want you to walk 50,000 kilometer, should I say to God, I am not capable, I will, I will, or I will be obedient? You should say, I'll be obedient. Okay, here Muhammad is not being obedient because he uh, he go back asking for discount. Allah told you, Allah, Allah told you, Allah told you 50. That's it. Why you go back? How dare you to go back and ask Allah for discount? Do you think Allah is a kid? This, imagine you go back to God, not king. You don't even dare to do that with the king. So what about doing that okay. with God? Who is the final messenger then? What final messenger? Where is the final messenger? Don't change the topic. How dare Muhammad? How dare Muhammad? How dare, how dare Muhammad? To ask... 
the Muhammad time. here, my friend. Muhammad here is asking God to change his mind. Is that correct? He's a changing the order of God. He's asking God, you are wrong. We cannot do 50. You are being stupid. Nobody can do 50 prayers. So you have to give us a discount. You have to reduce it. Allah agree with Muhammad that he is being stupid. So he reduced it from 50 to 40. Let me ask you, when Allah he reduced it from 50 to 40, why Allah choose number 40? Listen, this is the argument that it is always put forth. If you if you think it's stupid, then you're free to think that. Then you're a disbeliever. No, no, I'm asking you. I'm asking you why he did not reduce it to the lowest number. No, no. You see, I'm trying to understand your logic. Allah, he gave him 50, and then he make it 40. Why he made it 40? One billion people understand logic. If you don't understand, you're free. None of you believe in logic. You Muslim, you don't believe in logic. Don't tell me in logic. Do you believe? Do you believe that Allah? Let me ask you. Let me be, be honest. Be honest with me. Be honest with me. Do you believe in Muhammad? He said that if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. If the man have orgasm first, will the baby be a boy? You you believe in that? He didn't say orgasm. Don't he, add words. Okay. He did, he said what then? What he said? What he said? Co correct me. Correct me. Correct me. Correct me. If Okay, read with me. Here we go, listen, listen, guys. He did not say Jesus, orgasm. Let us see who's lying. Let us see who's lying. Let us see. Let us see who is lying. It is orgasm. It is orgasm. Read with me. Why you are a liar? Why all? Of, why all of you Muslims you defend Islam by lying? The Messenger of Allah. Shut up. Let me read for you. Let me read for you. Let me read for you. Stop shouting. Let me shut up. You see why you have to hang up on them? You said he did not say orgasm. No, he said orgasm. Read with me carefully. And you are a liar. Don't call me. Don't call me until I read for you. Look at the screen. Look at the screen, please. Don't call me until I read for you. The Messenger of Allah said, the man's water is th uh, thick and white, and the women's water is thin and yellow. Which of them comes first? The child will resemble the parent. You said he did not say orgasm. You are a liar. Now call me and apologize for being a liar. Man, everybody is calling me. Hello? Hello, am I speaking with Christian Prince? Yes, it's me, my friend. Yes. Uh, I just got a question. I'm listening to your stream. So, you know, you, you just mentioned that uh, Muhammad went up and down and, mm. and negotiated like prayers like that, you know, the followers should pray five times. Mm -hmm. But, but then why does he mention that in Quran that, you know, you should only pray three times? It doesn't make any sense. Well, you see, because Islam is a, is a chain of contradiction. It's a collection of stupid stories. None of them make sense anyway. <laughs> but, you know, after listening to your streaming, because I'm doing my research about Islam as well. By the way, I'm not a Muslim. Yeah. But the more I read, the more I feel bloody hell what's going on. Uh, especially the Hadith, because there are so many things which are talking more and more about sex. No, the, and it's got the, nothing to do with religion. And the Quran is uh, talking about sex too. The Quran described the breast of the women, the size of it, the age of them, uh, how wide they really? are. Oh yeah. If, if you don't, if you are doing research about this, you can get my books from Amazon, Sex and Allah. Both of them, they speak about those issues. And you can get my other books, you know, in Amazon. I have many books. Go read them. I will do because the thing is, uh, trust me, this is the first time I'm, uh, you know, I listened to your um, your debate, and it has really opened my eyes because it's actually a valid point. To be honest with you, I I thought that five prayers are actually written in Quran, and when you re read that, it's uh, to be honest with you, I'm not one of these idiots yeah. who will try to fake it. It's a very, it's very clear. It's three. So and then obviously, if 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 the hadith says that Prophet Muhammad went to um, um, you know heaven and, and and Allah said that five times then why is a Quran contradicting that it is it, it seriously doesn't make any sense you know uh, uh, if this God he mentioned in different verse you have to pray five times as the other guy he tried to prove to me then you are proven to me that Quran is a stupid book because in the verse we showed it so clear says that you pray three times as simple as that so exactly so if there is other verses you are trying to prove they are there saying you pray five times that's mean this God is contradicting himself he forgot what he just said to us that it is three why you say to us yeah. three if it's going to be five anyway exactly it doesn't make any sense and you know what I, I don't want to take your time because I know you want to speak to other Muslims I'm not anyways Muslim but uh, you know, I'm just agnostic uh, but <laughs> my, my, my point is I just want to confirm one thing for, to what I from what I learned and what I've actually gathered is that at first when uh, um, 
Muhammad was living in Mecca and when he was reciting all the friendly verses uh, about Jews and Christians and when they chucked him out to Medina then suddenly you know the new verses came and then he went against them and he said well you know there is a lot of uh, in chapter 5 verse 51 where it says that oh you believer don't take Jews and Christians as as friends or whatever so i heard that there is a quranic abrogation which means that you know muslims don't take the friendly verses but they take the the violent ones is it true there is verses in the quran when muhammad was weak at that time he didn't want to kill anyone because he cannot kill anyone anyway he's weak you know yes so when exactly, muhammad he became exactly. strong he, you know so the muslim they quote for your verses when muhammad was potato but they will not <laughs> they will not quote for you verses where muhammad became turkey yes you know um and you know what you're right and the thing is i was having a chat with my friend yesterday and who happens to be a muslim and i said to him explain it to me why he got revelations in aisha's bed or in his garment and he didn't believe me and i said okay but well, there is a hadith and then he read the hadith and he was shocked too and he said well wow and then he said to me it's not authentic and i said it's say bukhari you can cross check and he did and and he was ashamed and he said this is right and he said he doesn't have any answer but he was actually shocked and i said well yeah I'm but, very but you to see say, even even that hadith not only about muhammad in the clothes of aisha muslim they try to explain it they say some they say it is the house of aisha some they say it's the blanket of aisha but yes the, yes, the, yes the story itself is a shame why because muhammad again getting himself busted because if you never receive quran in any women house except the wife aisha so how you became a prophet for many years before you marry aisha because aisha is a woman he married or a child he married three years after the death of his khadija so he was with khadija for many years and he was a prophet supposedly and he was after khadija for three years before he married aisha and he was a prophet supposedly so all this time muhammad was receiving quran where yes and uh -huh. and you know what uh, there is a lot of things and also um, I, what I what I said to my friend, you know, I want to give credit to Muslims that they are very good salespeople, uh, and where they got this skill from is from uh, Muhammad because he was selling camels too. So I bet he sold a lot of camels. Uh, I'm sure he did, and 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 whatever he did, they, he passed it on to the followers. Because when you ask questions, they always say, "Oh no, this is not the right of these." But then you say, "Well, this is Sahih Bukhari." and then you know they say, "Oh no, no, no," but you have to use your brain as well. And I said, "Well, hang on a second first point you say is right then you want me to use my brain then my brain says it's full of rubbish but you don't accept it and you get offended so you know it, it, there's a lot of um, ifs and buts you know, and everything and, muslim, and you know when a muslim he says to you use your brain what kind of a brain will accept that if a woman have orgasm first the baby will be a girl if the boy oh yes I, guy, yes i, I read about that brain, as well. it's what, kind of, what kind of a brain you know teach us that in the heaven my penis will be endless what kind of a brain my, will, will teach me that my wife uh, ass will be one mile? What kind of a brain yep. will, will teach me that in, in you know in the heaven I will have a seventy years orgasm? I mean, they talk about the brain when they want, but they ha they are in the in the stage of hashish when all all the time seventy years orgasm. I mean, why seventy years? Muhammad is stuck with the number seventy. Anything around him is seventy. So seventy exactly. years, seventy year orgasm. I will go to visit Zakir Naik in Bangladesh. I go this year, two thousand eighteen. Or uh, Jack and Nike is having orgasm. I can I could not talk to him. I will go back 2019. He still have an orgasm. I will come back and in, 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 in the in the year 2010, still uh, 2030, still he's have orgasm. I will come back to him in the year 2040. Still have he's, he's still having orgasm. I will come back to him in the 2060. Still he's having orgasm. I will come to him back exactly. in 2070. Still have orgasm. I mean, where how we can use the brain in this religion? Yes, I mean, you know what the thing is. When I first started learning about Islam, you know, they they always they don't tell the bad thing, anyways. They always said, "Oh, you know what? He was so kind. He married a widow, and who was fifteen years senior." And when I did my research, I asked the question to who you know she was telling me all this thing. I said, "Hang on a second. You are a good salesperson because you only tell, told me that she was uh, she was fifteen years senior, but you never told me he was a poor man and she was filthy rich." Yeah. So if I am poor. You know, I mean, let's say, you know, I, I live in the United Kingdom. If, if Queen Elizabeth, well, I know she's married, but if he, if she would say, you know, marry me, I'd fucking marry her. Don't choose by the Because way, she is rich. All right. My friend, do you know how Muhammad yes. did marry Khadija? Uh, no, I don't. Khadija and Muhammad, they made the father of Khadija drunk. And they dressed him clothing of 
party like you know the arab they don't dress like oh, oh in the old days you know you don't like now even now i mean if you have an expensive uh, suit you don't wear it every day right so sure, sure, sure. so there is a cloth they wear only for a special occasion and there is everyday sure. clothing so they drunk the guy the father of khadija and they 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 undress him and they dress him with the new clothing and uh, 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 when the guy woke up in the morning he said why i'm wearing this clothes they said Oh, you forgot yesterday you married me to Muhammad. He said, No, I did not. Bloody hell. Yeah, so so they made him drunk, in, in, which means the marriage of Muhammad itself is based on a fraud. There's no marriage Shut. happened. The father of Muhammad, the father of Khadija never married her to him. And Muhammad, he and Khadija, they have a conspiracy against the father of Khadija. They made him, and, and I challenge, by the way, any Muslim to say to me this is a false story. I will show you the reference right away. So I, I have a Muslim. I apologize. Let me take the Muslims. Hello? We missed him. <clears throat> yes, my friend. Hello. Yeah, why are you are calling my friend? Introduce yourself. Hello. Yes. You are live on air. So, Go I ahead. Call you back. I'm having problems. Can I call you back? Hang on. Sure, sure. My phone. All right. Call me. No problem. <clears throat> Sorry for the gentleman I hang up on you, but because we want to take Muslims. <laughs> Everything in this cult is based on stupidity. I cannot find anything in there. It's true. Anything. Hello? Hello? Yes. Everything. Hello, yeah. CP, hello. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. Um, I have a quick question about Islam. All right. So, could you please translate the first part of Shahada? La ilaha illallah. There is no yeah. God but Allah, supposedly. So, is it there is no God but Allah, but or there is no God deserving um, worshiping rather? Than no, Allah. there is no God but Allah. La, la, la in Arabic is no. Yeah. Ilah, which means God, but Allah. You know, there's no okay. God but Allah. Yeah. There's no uh, worship, etc. This is just their own addition. But but why would they say it? Because it's it's uh, if you say there is no God that worship uh, that worth worshiping, that means there there are other gods which you shouldn't worship. So that's like a no, we can but we can take it we can take it fine. I mean, uh, you can say you can say to other okay, there is many gods, but they are false. The true God is supposed to be this God. It's okay, but the problem is not here. The problem is in the, in the second part. Why the Muslims, they say that we believe in one God, but yet they associate the name of the God with the name of a man. His name is Muhammad, because the Shahada is not only believing in Allah. You yeah, have, that's also strange. That yeah, you have to believe in Allah, and you have to believe in Muhammad. Okay, why I have to believe, if, if the purpose of Islam is to believe in God, okay, somebody want to believe in Allah alone. Is that okay? No. No, you have to believe in Muhammad. So, yeah, but 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 still, if you go linguistically, it, 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 it's nonsense. It's just uh, polytheism. This, my, my friend, this is not about. Uh, uh, there's nothing there uh, makes sense. But it's okay. The 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 word itself okay. is not a problem for me. But so the, yeah. The, okay. But but what is inside the words? What make make a problem? Okay, who's Allah first? Can you introduce to me Allah? If you ask a Muslim now, you know who's Allah? Then no. Oh, what hmm. they say to you? What he do? They say to you the Creator. But the Quran says there's many creators. Yeah, by the way, yeah, he's the best of it. Yeah, so uh, I use your videos to talk to my Muslim friends. Most of them are, don't want to talk to me anymore, though. Mm. But uh, you know, so I, it's clearly it's truth. Uh, I tell them clearly truth, and they just don't want to accept it. So yeah, all right. Well, yeah, we do our so, best. They want to take it or not. This is their business. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank, thank you, my friend. Hello? Hello, I was speaking to Christian Prince. Yes, it's me, my friend. You are live on air. Who is with me? So, uh, thank you very much. I've been following your debate for the past recent years. I've been following you, uh, brother David Wood and Sam Shamoon. I was to I want to compliment you. You are very you are doing a very good job. God bless you. May God protect you. You know the Muslim. I have a lot of Muslim friends here. They always try to know uh, what Jesus said in the Bible. And whenever you try to show them what it actually says, it will be like, oh, your Bible is corrupted. It can't be trusted. I was like, eh, if it's corrupted, then your Allah too is wrong because Allah confirmed my Bible. 
So I want to thank you. You are, do, you, are do, you are doing a very good job. Thank you very much. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you know, we have a we have the guy. His name is Hassan. He told me that his friend told him that the Christian prince deserved to be killed. And this is what Islam is about. You know, the second you hit and you know the, you hurt the cult, they in order to silence you, they say we will kill you, and maybe you are a coward and you will shut up. My friend, you kill me, you don't kill me. I don't care. I am not attached to this life. I don't care if I live into tomorrow, and I'm being honest about what I'm saying. I don't care if I die immediately now. I don't care. What is good about this life? I mean, what 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 I will miss? An internet, TV, what I will miss? You can't threat me. You can threat someone. He is a coward and he is attached to his life. I don't care. A person who have a mission, he care for his mission. He don't care for what it's called life around us. So they try to scare you by saying, "We want to kill you, kill me." That will increase the sales of my books, and that will make millions watch my videos. Even my death will serve my purpose. Kill me. Do it. They threat you every day. They try to scare you. Maybe you are a coward. We are not. Let us see. Hello? <clears throat> yes, good day. Christian Prince, how are you doing, sir? Yes, my friend, I'm fine. What's up? God bless you and God bless those who are listening. I just wanted to let everyone know that, you know, the Prophet Muhammad, supposedly, you know, he stole those 50 prayers or that 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 story from hmm. the fact that Abraham was pleading with God hmm. to spare the, the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. Remember, he says mm -hmm. in Genesis 18, he mm -hmm. talks about, um, um, you know, if you find 50 righteous people, then mm -hmm. would you spare it? And God says, yes, I will. Then it goes all the way down to 10, and then he would, you know, spare it for the 10's sake. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just want to let everybody know that. Yeah, well, know, we, we can make connection with that. But here the story is, is really uh, very stupid. I mean, this is an order about prayer, not about people. I mean, yeah, yeah, why he true. ordered him 50, and then a Jewish guy, his name is Musa, and what Musa is doing in heaven? What Musa is doing <laughs> in heaven? Because, because Muhammad, he said in different hadith, that he is the first one to be resurrected in the day of judgment. The first one between prophets and mankind. So when he say that he went to heaven and he found Musa, he found Adam, he found Isa, he found Aaron. I mean, this is madness. What the, what they are doing there? They are dead. Exactly. You know. Exactly. And then Musa's Musa's why Musa's is uh, uh, outsmart Allah and he is fixing the wrong order of Allah because Allah is giving fifty Muhammad uh, accepting Musa's don't like it. Musa's is the only smart in the game. You see, <laughs> yeah, Allah yeah, and Muhammad true. is just a, a, a people. They have no idea what they are doing. Muhammad, they go back to the office of Allah. They look at the door. Jibril, he deliver a paper to Allah. Says to him, Muhammad is there. He is saying that it is too much. Allah says, okay, we will make it forty. They go back. They go downstairs, and then Musa, he's waiting for them. Hey, Habibi Muhammad, what it is? He said forty. He said, Habibi Muhammad, forty. It's too much. Make it uh, go on us. And why Musa don't say to him, make it five right away? Exactly, you know, give him <laughs> give him the number sense. which is accepted. So 40, 30, 20. And I mean, this is madness, it's stupidity. And then at the end, it's five. If Muhammad he went one more time, Allah will take all the prayer off. <laughs> Lord have mercy. You know, you know what I mean? If Muhammad, yeah, if yeah, Musa yeah. says to Muhammad, five is too much, you know, then Muhammad he will go. Maybe Allah will say, Okay, don't pray at all. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. obviously, Allah have no problem to, 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 to delete this, the number of the prayer and reduce it. And here, you know, even even five. How stupid this cult is to pray five times and to make it mandatory to pray every day five times because that will disturb all your work. Especially, exactly. you see, if, if this was meant for, for time of Muhammad, then we can say, okay, at that time, people, they are not really, life is simple, you know, a goat, mm -hmm. uh, a tent, you know. I mean, life is simple. There's no need to go from place to place, etc. traveling, uh, uh, but now life is very complicated. How you can pray five times? 20 minutes to prepare for yourself for the prayer. And that, then that's to keep them keep them occupied so yeah. they have don't have to think for themselves. Actually, if we if we calculate the numbers of 50 prayer, you know, if we go, the human being he, he sleep how many hours? Average of eight hours, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. If we say 50 prayer, let us see how stupid Allah is. 
if we say 50 and then we have only 16 hours left out of the 24 okay we divide the 50 into 16 that's mean every hour we have to pray almost four prayers or three prayers how is that possible mm. if every prayer would need about 20 minutes to prepare for it mercy you know we have we don't have enough time the whole day will be gone just doing prayer we cannot even work yeah that doesn't make any sense at all man it's crazy uh but anyway uh, muhammad yeah. is trying to uh, to always uh, to, to uh, uh uh you know he copies stories from other uh, around him everything muhammad he have is copied from somewhere mm -hmm. the story mm -hmm. of going to the heaven he's talking taking it from the persian you know uh, there is there is a books the persian we believe in uh the zaradesh where there is a there is a bridge you go over the bridge you go to heaven there's a fire under the bridge and then those who they are righteous they will receive uh, white women who they are very pretty have a nice beautiful skin and they are like uh, the same as described in Islam you know so yes. everything Muhammad he have is coming from somewhere nothing he have in his book is his own except plagiarism except the verses where he says any woman she want to give her private part to me this is the only this is the only thing he made you know when, it's not like a pervert to me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because he made a verses. Any any woman she can give her to the prophet as a privilege only to him. I mean, why God want to do that? Why any exactly. woman in the world? Any woman in the world can give herself to the prophet. Why? What is that is about? Muhammad already have many wives. Why he need the, like if if Muhammad is a Christian prince and he's single, I understand. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. but why God want to give him such a privilege? And this is a privilege only for the prophet. The privilege of Muhammad always is about sex and money. Mm. The best of the booty to Muhammad, the women for Muhammad, and the rest is not a privilege for the Muslims. Why the Muslim man he can marry in Islam? Muhammad is a Muslim, they say to you, okay. Why a Muslim man he can marry only three, four, four women, but Muhammad he have way beyond the number three? That's ridiculous. Isn't he a Muslim? Obedience Muslim? They say yes, but because he's a prophet, and not only that, to try to fix it, they make it or even more horrible. They say because he was he was marrying women for political reason to spread Islam. Mm -hmm. So, but that's mm -hmm. mean that Muhammad is not a decent man. He married a woman not because he want to marry her, but he want to spread a, like a, his belief, and that mean I can use anyone around me. In order to deceive people or to 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 spread the or to establish something like I can marry a woman now because she's rich here we go I have a target when you say when you say he married her or he married those women not because of sex or anything he married them just because he want to establish Islam it's mean Islam is not coming from God right right of course if, mm -hmm. if God is the one who will establish Islam anyway Muhammad will not need women to establish religion this is True. why you see his mm -hmm. his marrying daughters of all those who are around him who he need them and even he gave them his daughters too so he can establish political uh, uh, let us say uh, uh, alliance together so we will become family and you you join me and you fight with me and I will not be alone so Muhammad he, how he is a prophet but he's doing all those things does it make I sense know. I don't know but there is one thing I like you to know um, as well according to Deuteronomy 4 uh, chapter 4 verse 28 mm -hmm. um you know how muslims always say that our god eats mm -hmm. and you know god doesn't eat and stuff like that mm -hmm. if everyone goes to deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 28 there's actually a, a a prerequisite of what a false idol is and one of the false or one of the requisites of a false idol is that idol can't see hear smell or eat mm -hmm. Right, so if you put that together, then Allah is still a false prophet and still a false idol or God. You see, the idea of God, he, he <clears throat> eat or he don't. The mm -hmm. second you say God cannot, it's mean he cannot mm -hmm. be God. Exactly. You know. Exactly. Because we call him Almighty because he can. Otherwise, what is the Almighty is about? So God That's cannot God, God cannot be a man. That's mean God cannot be God. God cannot mm -hmm. be what he wants. It's mean God mm -hmm. he cannot. I cannot be something else because I'm a man. I'm limited, you know. Right. right. But right. God he can be whatever he wish. So exactly. when they say like the Quran, even the Quran says how how uh, 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 Allah have a son when he he don't he, how he can have a son if he don't mm -hmm. have a girlfriend. So right. when when right. the Quran says such a thing that how can he have a, have a son, it's mean how he can be God too. Mm. And and mm. Allah is making it clear that he cannot have a son because he have no girlfriend. But right. we know right. even the Quran mentioned that Mary she don't have a boyfriend. 
Yes, you but, had Jesus. But yet you have Jesus. <laughs> That's mean the God of Mary, he can, he can make what is impossible happen. And the funny, the Muslim, they say, uh, we believe in miracles. So how come you don't believe that Jesus mm -hmm. can be God in the flesh of a man? Isn't it? Is even Jesus, even in the Quran, is a miracle? His birth is a miracle. His existence is a miracle. His talk is miracles. His words is miracle. You know, you see, every it, all the miracles the Quran speak about, none of them is a person except Jesus. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. because when when uh, when Moses across the sea, Moses is not the miracle, right? Right. But God did miracle to him. Okay. When uh, that they speak about uh, uh, Abraham, Allah did miracle for him. Uh, many other prophets, but none of them. He, the person himself, is the miracle, except Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus himself, his his a miracle. His existence is a miracle. He is exist without anyone. Amen. Without any man, no need for a man. So how you say to me, it is impossible for God to be a man. But you accept that Jesus, the man, is exist before be, without making him from mud or from sex, because this is the only two options: either he create a man from mud, as the Quran said, or he have to be a reproduction of a woman and a man. But True. Jesus is neither True. any of them. True. And if you ask a Muslim why Jesus is the only one, he have no father. We don't know. They say it's a miracle. So why Allah he did this miracle? What the point of it? I mean, here we go. Muhammad is the greatest prophet in Islam, but Allah did not do that to him. Yeah, that's true. And this miracle, actually, no need for it because my mother and your mother can 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 claim that they are virgin when they gave birth to us. <laughs> mm -hmm. that's right? True. That's true. Yeah, there's no point of this miracle because any woman can claim that, and nobody can prove it or disapprove it. It's true. it's something true. very private and no way to prove or disapprove. So, what is the point of this miracle? No, ex except. Only it makes sense in Christianity. Of course, exactly. But in Islam, doesn't make sense. No, no. Well, nice talking to you, Christian Prince. Keep up the good work. God bless you and your family, my man. All right, take care. Friend. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. And you know, not only that, if we if we if we try to to examine Islam, we will find that everything the Muslims they speak about is a joke. Hello. <clears throat> Hello, are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Okay, I have to block you because this is the third time you call me and you don't talk. No, my friend, I blocked you already. If you call me more than one once, and you don't talk, and I know that I hear you there. There's a sound that's mean you are playing games. I will block you. <clears throat> Everything in this cult is is a stupid. Even the heaven itself is a stupid. Look at look at the heaven Muhammad describing to, uh, to us when he went to the seven eleven heaven, that he saw a gate, and the gate there is guards, and the guards asking who is this guy. Who is coming with you? And the surgery they made to his chest and installing a dish of wisdom and a dish of faith. Have you ever heard of any religion in the world that faith and wisdom, they come in dishes? Since when? And why Allah, he needed to make a dish, a surgery dish? Isn't it the Muslim, they say to us that if Allah, he wants something to be, he say, be. Okay, Muhammad is a stupid, obviously. He say to him, be, and he will be smart. Be smart. But sending two angels to make a surgery for him to install dish of wisdom and faith that does not make sense unless Allah is not God. Since when angels they became surgeons and they do surgery in the spot of a prophet to do what to make him faithful and to make him wise. What is that? A surgery, and then not only that. They stuffed, if you read the story, they stuffed faith and wisdom in his blood vessels and his throat. Have you ever heard of such a stupidity? I am going to stuff your throat with wisdom, and the wisdom are brought in a golden tray, contain 
believe in wisdom and after they cut his chest all the way from his throat all the way to his testicles they took everything out and they wash it with the water of zamzam and then the angel he starts stuffing i wish i can make a cartoon about this guys who of you who of you can make a cartoon and send it to me nobody will know your name if you are a person who have a uh, uh, great skills in a graphic or you have a software for cartoon that will be amazing cartoon so people they will laugh at the stupidity of this cult angel is making is stuffing the prophet chest and his blood vessels and his throat with wisdom and you say to me Christianity does not make sense why why Christianity does not make sense how how come Jesus did not need a surgery to be wise? Why God did not make a surgery for Moses to be wise? How stupid Muhammad was to the point he needed a surgery of wisdom. And if Muhammad after the surgery, he say that if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the women have orgasm first, the will be, will baby be a girl. Then how stupid he was before the surgery because still he is so stupid after the surgery Right If this is Muhammad after the surgery saying that if you have orgasm first your baby will be a boy Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim? Hello? Hello, CP. How are you? I'm fine, my friend. Go ahead. Um, CP, I just want to comment on the uh, when when you asked Sheikh Talal to read from the Arabic dictionary about the word Duluk, Duluk is Shams. Yeah. And um, you kept saying read and he wouldn't read. So I was like scratching my head saying, when was the last live um, someone told Abdul to read and he couldn't read? So I came to the conclusion that CP, you, you must be Jibril. I mean, this has to be. <laughs> I, <laughs> you have I, to be Jibril. I, I had to squeeze him. No, you, <laughs> no, you notice what happened. When I, I said to him, okay, what is the word there? For for the noon time, he said, "Let me read, for read the whole verse because he does not know which verse, which word." You know, those people they are. I don't know if you if you watch in the Middle East that there is a there is a there is a an actor. His name is they call him Gawar. So yeah. they they taught him in jail how to read, how to write, but the fact did not teach him. They teach him how to recite. So when the inspector yeah. came to to inspect their reading, uh, he said, "Okay, read what is written here." He start ad ud id marfu marfu al marfu an sasa, you know. So the inspector he said, no no no, read for me this word. The guy he go back ad ud al marfu an sasa. He said, no 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 no, read read which word, word 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 by word. He didn't know the words, so they they act as if they knew Arabic. But the fact, yeah, but the but the fact is not, you know, duluk al shams is not the noon time. The Lucas Shams is going to to the to to the sunset, you know, is, is going to sunset. It's since almost sunset time. This is not. Yes. This is not. Guru. This is not. Yeah. Wahu was zawalu ila al ghurub, as zawalu ila al ghurub, going away to the to, to the to the direction of of the sunset. So, uh, 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 and this is when when the the supposedly the night is going to approach. Muhammad he never go. He never, he never mentioned the Quran. What is the exact date? What exact time? Sorry. You know when he say uh, the two end of the day and the uh, uh, the approach of the night. Okay, yes. what 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 time the approach of the night? No, there's no time because simply uh, every every uh, uh, every month every week the approach of the night is different. Time is changing. You know, yep. so there's no time. And uh, and not only that. Let us say I'm a person who live in Alaska. And I want to practice. There is no day and night. There is yeah. no day and night like. Right. I want to practice this verse. How I can practice it? How you can? 
how you can decide the time of prayer just by the sun and the, uh, by the sunset and the sun etc and then you say to me this is will be international for everybody that will not work for everybody and the same thing for ramadan ramadan as well like there is no sunset so how, how do you fast like <laughs> you know it doesn't make any sense uh, anyway if you fast in ramadan and you live in norway i mean your your fasting so will be for four months for five months <laughs> yes that's true that's true anyways i won't take much of your time god bless you cp thank you my friend. and i always think like i always think like um at the time of jesus uh they had apostles like Paul and Peter preaching. I think you're the same for this century. You're like the same for this like uh, 21st my friend, century. I am, I am no exposed, one. I am no one. Thank you're you. You're exposing the pagan gods. You're exposing the pagan gods. Keep keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, please don't mm -hmm. go, don't compare me to the to the wonderful names. I am no one. Uh, and this is my challenge. After being here for how many hours now? We are here for three hours. I challenge a Muslim to call me. And to show me one reason to believe in Islam after all this talk we did. <clears throat> Anyone? Since we started, we asked the Muslim, what is the proof that Islam is right? Nobody knows. They don't know. Oh, what they say to you, Allah is a true God. Well, how Allah is a true God, and you and you see this, this guy, he cannot be speaking to God. This is stupid. God will not send an angel to do surgery to make a prophet have faith. Since when faith is something we can stuff like, like rice inside zucchini. Based on this story, your prophet is Mr. Zucchini, and Allah is stuffing him with some beef. What is the purpose of this story? What does that mean exactly? And how in the world you can believe in this? And by the way, the story of Muhammad going to heaven. Why always Muhammad, he have stories nobody saw. There's no witnesses. There's nobody. Always he's alone. If you go and see all prophets of God, you will see that their miracles has witnesses. Muhammad has no witnesses. Muhammad, he went to heaven, he came back from heaven. Even the Arab of Mecca, they were wondering what this guy is talking about. They were laughing at him. Well, when you went to when you went to heaven. Muhammad, he split the moon. But the moon is not a split. Allah, he, Allah, he split the moon and he glued it again. One of, one of the Muslims says to me, will Jesus say that the judgment day is near? Jesus is, you know, when, when, the, when the Bible speaks about judgment day, the Bible says to us when the judgment day is going to be really almost there. As an example, Jesus, if you go to Matthew, or in a, anywhere you will see that Jesus described for us what exactly will happen? Like when the sun is darkened, Muhammad trying to copy that? But the sun will be darkened, which means the sun will not give its light. When the brother betray his brother, when, when the whole world is corrupt, when blah, 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 it's a, a lot of things. So he gave us a lot of signs about it's not going to be like now. We did not reach the point where Every human being became evil. Like the brother, he called me, and he was. We were talking about Sodom and uh, uh, Gomorrah, right? Or destroying cities. God, you know, God will not destroy cities unless there is no righteous people left. So the judgment day, the faster the corruption happened in the whole world, the faster the judgment day come, which it sound like it is in our hand. God, He left it for us, which means. The more you corrupt yourself, the more I will do it to you. The faster it's going to come to you. You know what I mean, guys? <clears throat> Hello? Hello. Hi. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. I have a question about um, a, had a hadith from Musnad Ahmed. Okay. 
1625. Uh, it says that um, I saw the prophet sucking on the tongue or the lips of Al Hassan, the son of Ali, mm. made a prayers of Allah be upon him. That's what it says. Mm. For no tongue or lips that that the prophet sucked on will be tormented by hellfire. Is that even true? Because that sounds like a real joke. Well, Muhammad, he have a lot of behaviors, to be honest with you, to question. But I can say, okay, if Muhammad, he is doing that to his grandsons, maybe we don't understand why he's doing that. It doesn't make sense. But there is something more ugly. If you look with me in the screen, you can see okay. the screen? Yes. Okay. Muhammad, he said, there is, a, there, is a, there is a person, his name is Osama, and he was young. Osama, he stumbled and he fall. And then Muhammad, uh, he, and he, he injured himself. So Muhammad, look what happened. Okay. Osama stumbled uh, at the thread hold of the door, cut his <clears> face. <throat> the messenger of Allah said, remove the harm of the blood from him. But I was replaced, at, okay, he started to suck the blood and remove it from his face. And then said, if Osama were a girl, I would have adorned him and dress him until I married him off. Is is that a is that a sahi uh, hadith? Because yeah, I, I don't know. It, it sounds unbelievable. Actually, here, I mean, there, here, there's so many funny things. Here in here is... in here in this hadith, they say da'if. But why they say da'if? Because simply it is embarrassing. If we go to the front, you know, here we go. You see, anything will be will look embarrassing. They will say it is da'if. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. I see. Yeah. Anything, anything will make Muhammad look. What? Why Muhammad? By the way, even even if it's da'if, it's accepted still. Da'if is accepted. So, but why Muhammad is saying sucking the blood of the face of the person, and then what is the point of saying if he was a girl, I would have adorned him and dressed him until I married him off? What is that? Well, that that's what? from Aisha, I guess. That's the same thing. What? Why he is thinking about making if he was a girl? What is what is the point of that? If he, if he was a girl, why is saying that? You know. Doesn't make sense. I mean, this man is what about Muhammad kissing a man? Man mm -hmm. kissing a man, you know, a man, a man and Muhammad is is in love together. So uh if you go in the hadith, you will see Muhammad saying the following. <coughs> and this is Sahih chain, Sahih Hadith. Abu Abdul Rahman here, you know, Muhammad he was walking and he saw a guy and he started booking up. But booked him under his ribs with a stick. He said, "Let me take retaliation." Then he said, "Take retaliation." He said, "You are wearing a shirt, but I am not." The prophet then he raised his shirt to the man and embraced him, and began to kiss his side, and then said, "This is how I want it, must oh Master of Allah." <laughs> the wow. prophet, the prophet is kissing the side of the man. You see, in the translation, to try to make it look like the opposite. No. It is the prophet kissing the side of the man, and the, this is why the man is saying, "Oh, this is how I want it." You see, the one is kissing; he cannot talk, right? Yeah, and there was a fight where um, Muhammad spared a man, and he he kissed his chest because uh, he he spared his life or something in a battle. No, this is different. This is here. This, this is, is this, yeah. this is here. Supposedly, they are having fun. What kind of fun? Look with me. The prophet mm -hmm. kissing a man down his down his belly. And the guy is saying to him, "Oh, this is what. Don't stop. Oh, don't stop, please. This is how I like it. Please." <laughs> what what kind of a prophet would do that? Why a prophet want to do that? You yeah, know? it sounds like a childish thing. If it's not sexual, if it's not sexual, it doesn't sound something a respectable man would do. So, so the people that are writing this, they say it's not Sahih. So, people that are writing this, are they against Muhammad, no, or are they, they writing it as, as a they fun? They say or? it's not Sahih because those books are Sahih books. You see, the Muslims today. Yeah, so they have to believe it because somebody who, who loves the messenger they, they to say have, he, he wouldn't have, write things like this. So this no, has to be They true. have no choice. But you see, when uh, uh, the Muslims today, anything you show them, it's embarrassing. They say it is not right. Yeah. You know, it's not right. The second you say that, it's not right. So anything they don't like is not correct. It is not sahih. What you can do about it? That's it. We don't, you know, we don't accept. But 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 you cannot do that. Yeah, you know, you're right. Those books are called uh, uh, Sahih books for a reason, for they are mm -hmm. right. If they are not right, why they are there? Yep, absolutely. All right. Yeah, and uh, 
it actually was me that you blocked the last time because I was trying to call you, but my headphones were hooked up. So if you can unblock me, that was not my fault. Actually, I didn't realize my headphones were hooked up. Uh, well, so I don't know that's what was the name. I, Maybe I, I can text you. me later the name. I can, I, I can look for it. Well, thank you so much. All right. Thank Thanks you. for your time, brother. Thank you, my friend. All right. I, I don't know if the chat is working because uh, my internet looks like I have a problem here. Anyway, do we have any Muslim would like to call? Now, for some reason, the internet from my side is not working. I mean, I can't see the chat. Let me see what's happening here. There is... Uh... I don't know if I am... Am I disconnected or what? Let us see here. Okay. Is the chat working, guys? Okay. I'm not sure why. Maybe maybe YouTube had a problem. Uh. Okay. Look like the chat is not working. Look like maybe uh, YouTube have difficulty. It's all right. What we can do? Yeah, uh, it is not working, but we can hear you clearly. All right, no problem. Actually, we are done for tonight anyway. We have enough, and uh, maybe we will see if tomorrow we can do uh, more and more. All right, thank you, my friend, for calling me and telling me. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. All right, guys. As long like the chat is not working and sound like maybe there is some error with uh, YouTube, uh, we will see. Um, yeah, usually sometime YouTube they have a problem. Actually, I noticed YouTube lately they are suffering with more problems. Even sometimes you can't even open YouTube. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello? I hear you. Okay, guys. Look like it's not working. Uh, maybe uh, there's internet problem. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I hope the Muslims, they are learning something useful for their, you know, for their education. I obviously were educating the Muslims. Uh, all the Muslims who called us, they failed to prove us wrong. Even the one who tried to prove us wrong, he proved Islam wrong. Like as an example, the one who tried to prove that the Quran speak of five verses, five places to pray or five times to pray. By doing that, he just proved to us that Quran cannot be a stable book. Because how a verse says three, other verse says five as you try to claim to be. But even that is not true. Muslim, Muslims, you see, if God want to say to you pray five times, he should mention it clear. He should make it in a clear place. When the Quran says pray five, four, you know, three times, as we see here, this is very clear. That's it. He didn't say any additional timing and establish regular prayer at the two ends of the day, at the approach of the night. So if you want to say to me, I am lying, it's mean your God is lying. It's very simple. It's so clear. And you try to guess to try the other prayers when it's not really in the Quran, it is in the Hadith. You try to repeat the same prayer to make it to count as one, but the Quran make it clear. This is the only verse in the Quran, make it clear that how many times you pray. Same time, let us say, let us assume that Allah here, he said three, and then he said five. Why is that? That would be the most stupid God ever. Why even he changed his mind about numbers of prayer he was wrong the two end of the day and the approach of the night as simple as that then why he will make it five he found himself wrong this is what you are trying to convince us if this is the story well then allah is not god anyway there's no way god the eternal who knows the future who knows what is right he will make a wrong decision when he say three, it should be the right decision. 
he should not take it back you see when the Muslim they say to us in the time of Adam children they used to marry uh, from each other right but there was a reason for that because there's no other children's a brother he married his sister because there's no other women to marry so the abrogation here did not happen over day not for the same prophet not in the same week not in the same year this guy he is a person who have tons of abrogation as Muslims they confirm to us but he is a person who did not live for a thousand of years and that is not acceptable the same man he brought a law he changed the law before the law dry he just wrote the law by the ink and the ink is not dry yet and then he changed it he keep abrogating himself because he is not a stable person he do not know what he's talking about he do not know what is right he tries something it doesn't work so we fix it we make it something else this is why islam is very changeable religion Christians and Jews will go to heaven then we find not long after Christian or Jews should be killed right because Islam is not a, it's not a religion it's, it's a political movement you see I just heard that the government of Emirat is thinking to send uh, their diplomat to be in Syria but Syria was Syrian government was an enemy for them and now they are sending their diplomat there it's a, it's a politics in politics there's no enemy there's no friends the one who is your enemy today is your friend tomorrow and the one who is your friend today is your enemy tomorrow that is Muhammad he is a diplomat he changed his God words to fit to fit with his diplomacy he don't have really God's rules he had diplomatic rules which mean what is better for me now as a prophet now I'm claiming to be a prophet what is better for me I told the Christians that you will go to heaven when I was weak that doesn't fit with me now now we want to make money we have to force them to pay jizya so that the diplomacy it change the planet change otherwise if the Christians was going to go to heaven two weeks ago why they will go to hell two weeks after if I just promised them heaven why now they will go to hell nothing makes sense so thank you my friend for being here and too bad that YouTube uh, chat was not uh, working look like it says eternal error from YouTube there's a problem so I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you uh, soon again Christ is Lord and Islam is funny and false see you and thank you very much take care bye-bye